여러분 주님 안에서 평안하셨습니까? 7월 둘째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 4일 이영우 목사를 강사로 지구역장 세미나를 갖고 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 믿음으로 영적 재충전을 새롭게 했는데요. 첫 소식 심지혜 리포터가 전해드립니다. 영적 부흥의 주인공이 되자를 주제로 열린 이번 세미나는 코로나19 사태로 전면 중단된 소그룹 모임의 리더들이 감염증 종식 이후를 준비할 수 있도록 마련된 시간입니다. 1, 2부로 나뉘어 열린 이날 행사는 세미나와 헌신 예배로 진행됐습니다. 이영훈 목사는 지구역장들의 영적 재무장을 주문했고 동시에 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 충성을 당부했습니다. 지구역장님들은 절대 긍정으로 무장해서 교회에 대해서는 절대 긍정, 절대 감사로 충성해야 될 것입니다. 단한 번도 하나님은 믿음이 없는 사람, 부정적인 사람, 원망 불평한 사람과 함께 일하신 적이 없고 믿음의 사람들하고 일하셨기 때문에 절대 긍정의 믿음은 주님 일꾼의 근본적인 자세입니다. 또 대교구와 지성전을 호명하며 참석자들을 격려했습니다. 참석자들은 각자가 이끌고 있는 지구역원을 위해 기도했고 스스로의 영적 회복을 위해 마음 모아 기도했습니다. 이날 세미나에선 설문조사를 통해 우리 교회 지구역장의 연령과 성별, 예배 참석률, 봉사 연수 등을 확인했고 또 교구장과 교회에 대한 건의사항 등도 받았습니다. 이어진 이분은 지구역장 헌신 예배로 드렸습니다. 연이어 강단에선 이영훈 목사는 성령 충만과 말씀 충만의 삶을 강조하며 성숙한 그리스도인의 열매인 긍정과 감사의 언어 생활을 당부했습니다. 우리가 입을 열어서 남을 판단하고 남을 비방하면 하나님 앞에 죄를 짓는 것입니다. 지금까지 우리가 잘 모르고 습관적으로 그런 삶을 살았던 부분이 있지만 은 이제 이 시간은 이후로는 완전히 우리가 입에 재가나 물려서 독서로운 말만 하고 남을 살리고 칭찬하고 치료하고 용서하고 회복시키는 말만 하고 하나님 옆에 영광 드리고 덕을 끼치는 여러분 되기를 주님의 이름으로 축원합니다 말씀에 이어 참석자들은 간절히 기도하며 맡은 바 사명에 온전히 헌신하는 지구역장들이 될 것을 다짐했습니다. 믿음 안에서 표대를 향한 경주에 돌입한 우리 교회 모든 지구역의 부흥을 응원합니다. FSTV 뉴스 심지입니다 이영우 목사는 이일 국민일보가 마련한 특별 대담에 함께했습니다. 대담은 주한 장로교회 주승종 목사의 사회로 진행됐습니다. 계속해서 심지혜 리포터입니다. 국민일보가 마련한 이날 대담은 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국 교회 어떻게 세울 것인가를 주제로 진행됐습니다. 코로나 바이러스는 전 세계의 이동을 제한시키고 예배 또한 비대면 온라인 예배로 바꿔놓는 등 한국 교회의 큰 숙제를 안겼습니다. 주승중 목사는 지난 5개월간 지속한 온라인 예배가 가져온 예배자의 수동적 태도와 매너리즘에 대한 경계로 대담을 시작했습니다. 이에 대해 이영훈 목사는 교회가 교회다움의 본질을 회복한다면 위기는 기회가 될수 있다고 말했습니다. 온라인 오프라인으로 가고 있는데 일할 때 이제 첫째로 중요한 것은 우리가 어떻게 성도들이 예배에 대한 자세를 가져야 될 것인가. 어디서 예배를 드려도 하나 앞에 진실되게 예배를 드려야 되는 그러한 그 예배의 본질적인 문제를 다시 한번 깨우쳐야 되는 필요성이 있는데 그것이 어떻게 교회마다 이 부분을 이제 성도들의 삶을 적용시켜 나가느냐라는 생각을 먼저 해봅니다. 그리고 이를 위한 시작으로 가정 예배의 회복을 제안했습니다. 이번 기회에 가정이 살아나고 예배가 살아나는 방향으로 가정 예배를 복원하는 것이 어떻게 되는가 하는 제안을 해봅니다. 그래서. 또 교회와 성도들이 스스로를 성찰하며 예배 현장의 변화와 선한 영향력을 끼치는 모습으로 변화하자고 주문했습니다. 예배 전체가 한 시간 얼마 짧은 시간이지만 처음 차량부터 시작해서 끝날 때까지 감동 속에 드려지는 예배, 성령의 그 역사심이 넘쳐나는 예배로 예배 현장이 바뀌어진다면 음, 사실 우리 1907년 그 평양 장대역의 대풍 운동을 기억합니다만은 일단 그런 부흥의 역사를 다시 재현할 수 있는 계기를 마련할 수 있지 않겠는가. 정말 모일 때는 정말 강한 성령의 임지를 체험하고 어떤 사람은 사회 속에 변화를 가져오는 선한 영향을 끼치는 그러한 모습으로 바뀌어지지 않겠나 그런 생각을 해봅니다. 
끝으로 이영훈 목사는 성령의 열매 맺는 성숙한 그리스도인의 삶을 당부하는 것으로 이날 대담을 마무리했습니다. 성령의 역사가 그동안 너무나 이 매니페스테이션이 은사 쪽으로 가 있었는데 이제는 그러한 시대에서 성령의 열매 쪽으로 가서 보이는 것이 아니라 실천되어져서 삶을 진짜로 바꾸는 삶의 현장에서 바꿔놓는 그런 모습이 필요하지 않겠는가. 코로나19 사태가 장기화될 때 오히려 지금이야말로 한국교회가 그냥 확 퍼져 들어가서 사회 속에 퍼져 들어가서 소외된 계층을 섬기는 일 지금이야말로 그들과 섬기는 것이 그게 예배가 아니냐 생각합니다. 이영훈 목사와 주승중 목사의 이날 특별 대담은 7일자 국민일보 전면에 게재돼 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국교회의 방향성을 제시했습니다. FSB 뉴스 심재입니다 오산리 최자실 기념 금식 기도원 초입에 세워진 예루살렘과 실로암 성전이 코로나 바이러스에 지친 한국교회 성도들의 영적 재충전과 쉼을 위한 장소로 기대를 모으고 있습니다. 김선태 리포터가 보도합니다. 은혜와 기적의 동산으로 불리는 오산리 최자실 기념 금식 기도원은 1973년 설립돼 한국교회 기도운동과 성령운동을 견인하며 응답의 주님을 만나는 곳으로 유명합니다. 매년 교파를 추월해 많은 성도들이 찾는 기독 명소로 또 영적 재충전을 위한 기도의 자리로 각광받고 있습니다. 아시아 성도 방한성회 등 외국인 성도들의 방문도 이어지며 꾸준히 해외의 기독인들로부터도 사랑받고 있습니다. 기도원 초입에 자리한 기존 실로암 성전을 헐고 그 자리에 연면적 659평, 지상 3층 규모의 새 성전을 건축했습니다. 1층은 650명이 예배할 수 있는 규모로 실로암 성전으로 명명됐고 2, 3층은 복층 구조로 1,000명이 동시에 예배할 수 있는 대성전으로 예루살렘 성전으로 이름 붙였습니다. 모임의 규모에 따라 성전을 선택해 예배할 수 있습니다. 신축 성전은 2017년 11월 착공 후 설계 변경 등의 변수로 1년여간 공사가 유보됐다가 2018년 11월 재개돼 2020년 6월 중공 감사 예배를 드릴 수 있었습니다. 이영훈 목사는 기도원에 올라가 기도할 때마다 공사 현장을 방문해 상황을 점검하고 안전한 시공과 성도들의 예배 편의에 최선을 다해달라고 당부했습니다. 신축 성전은 자연 채광을 극대화한 밝고 쾌적한 디자인을 채택해 예배는 물론 세미나와 음악회 등 다양한 교회 행사를 소화할 것으로 기대됩니다. 성전의 외형 또한 아름답고 세련돼 기도원의 이미지 쇄신에도 기여할 것으로 보입니다. 우리 성도님들 기도원에 많이 오셔서 함께 기도해서 이 한국 교계의 역사를 바꾸는 그 일에 동참해 주시길 바랍니다. 26일 중공 예배에서 이영훈 목사는 참석자 모두를 향해 강력한 기도가 회복될 것을 당부했습니다. 기도 회복되어야 됩니다. 강력한 기도가 회복되어야 됩니다. 내가 살고 가정이 살고 교회가 살고 대한민국에 사는 길은 기도밖에 없다는 것을 잊지 말게 되기를 바랍니다. 벽돌 한 장이라도 올리겠다는 마음으로 많은 성도들이 각자의 옥합을 깨뜨려 함께 건립한 새성전을 통해 오산리 기도원이 갖고 있는 기도응답의 산실이라는 명성이 계속되길 기대해봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 6월 마지막 주에는 고등교구 현장 예배가 재개됐죠. 7월 첫째 주에는 아우들인 중등교구의 현장 예배가 다시 시작됐습니다. 자세한 소식 성지연 리포터가 전해드립니다. 3월 첫 주부터 코로나 바이러스로 인해 중단된 중등교구의 현장 예배가 19주 만에 다시 시작됐습니다. 학생들은 성전 입장에 앞서 고등교구에서 그랬던 것처럼 체온을 측정했고 또 학생 건강 상태에 대한 자가진단 문진을 작성 후 자석표를 배정받아 입장했습니다. 성전 안은 지정된 자석에만 학생들을 앉혀 거리 두기를 유지했습니다. 이날 중등교구는 학생 간 접촉을 최소화하기 위해 같은 층에 위치한 길마을과 진리마을은 예배 시간을 달리했습니다. 이에 따라 오전 9시에는 길마을과 생명마을이 예배했고 11시에는 진리마을이 예배하도록 했습니다. 중등 예배를 위해서 우리가 열 체크도 하고 거리 두면서 어, 그리고 자석도 거리를 두면서 준비했습니다. 우리 많은 친구들이 같이 함께 예배를 같이 드렸으면 좋겠습니다. 오랜만에 재개된 예배는 코로나 바이러스의 감염이 줄지 않아 교사들이 직접 회중 찬양을 인도했고 
또 학생 찬양대도 세우지 않았습니다. 학생들은 교회에 나와 친구들을 만나는 것만으로도 행복해 했습니다. 아, 이제 교회학교 오랜만에 나오니까 이제 다시 만난 친구들도 얼굴 다시 보니까 너무 좋은 것 같고 선생님들도 함께 만나니까 정말 좋은 것 같습니다. 온라인으로 예배드리는 점이 불편한 것도 있었고 그리고 오니까 편한 편해서 좋고 그리고 친구들이랑 만나서 좀 좋은 것 같아요. 코로나 바이러스라는 큰 도전 앞에도 교회에 나온 중등교구 학생들의 환한 얼굴을 보며 신앙 전승의 위대함을 생각해 봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 성지현입니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 7월 재직과 봉사자를 위한 특별 새벽 기도회가 9일부터 4일간 예수님의 리더십을 주제로 진행됐습니다. 이영호 목사는 겸손과 온유, 순종의 리더십을 주제로 설교했고 참석자들은 말씀을 숙고하며 교회가 교회다움을 회복할 수 있도록 겸손과 온유, 순종을 마음 깊이 다짐했습니다. 지국장 회의가 7일 있었습니다. 회의를 주재한 이영훈 목사는 젊은 교회, 다음 세대를 키우는 교회가 되도록 각 부서가 지혜를 모으고 힘을 모아야 할 때라며 이를 위해 전력을 다하자고 당부했습니다. 이어진 교직원 연합 예배에선 우리가 우선해야 할 것은 말씀과 기도라며 가장 중요한 것을 놓치지 말자고 전했습니다. 코로나19 위기 극복을 위한 장애인 대교구 지원 사랑의 살라눔이 지난 4일 대단위 광장에서 있었습니다. 이용호 목사는 각자의 삶의 자리에서 열심히 기도하며 믿음의 승리를 이루는 성도들이 되자고 격려하고 현장에서 사랑의 쌀을 전했습니다. 이날 나눈 쌀은 10kg들이 1,100g입니다. 기독교 대한 하나님의 성회는 7일 제69차 제1회 정기임원회와 정기실행위원회를 갖고 코로나 바이러스로 어려움을 겪고 있는 교단 산하 1,500개 임대교회와 농어촌 미자립 개척교회의 임대료 등 4억 5천만 원을 지원 기로 결의했습니다. 지원금은 교회 성장 연구소와 협력해 미자립 교회의 온라인 예배 시스템 구축 등에 사용됩니다. 순복음 총회 신문 창간 27주년 기념 예배가 7일 있었습니다. 순복음 신문은 교단지로서 우리 교단과 교계 소식을 신속하고 정확하게 보도하며 사랑받고 있습니다. 이날 이영훈 목사는 순복음 신문이 더욱 업그레이드되어 한국교회 성령운동에 불을 붙이는 귀한 사명을 감당해달라고 전했습니다. 설교 후에는 이태근 총회장의 격려사와 정동균 총회장, 강영선 수석부총회장의 축사가 있었습니다. 국제고호개발 NGO 구피플은 나눔 가게 캠페인을 전개하고 있습니다. 이 캠페인은 나눔에 동참하고자 하는 사업장이 매월 일정 금액을 도움이 필요한 이웃에게 후원하는 것으로 현재 여의도 소재 신미호 케어, 김산보 등 11곳의 소상공인들이 함께하고 있습니다. 또 구피플 신혜진 나눔대사가 운영하는 클럽 인너, 호텔 리조트는 구피플과 함께 식수 부족으로 어려움을 겪는 아프리카 후원을 위한 모금 캠페인을 진행하고 있습니다. 사진이 들어간 체크카드 성도 등록증을 발급하고 있습니다. 발급을 원하는 성도들은 사진과 신분증, 성도 등록증, 국민은행 또는 우리은행의 통장 사본을 지참하고 소속 교구에 가서 발급 신청서를 작성하면 됩니다. 모바일 비대면 신청도 가능합니다. 재산위원회는 5일 방송국 재산 검열을 가졌습니다. 위원들은 방송국의 재산 증감 현황 등의 보고를 받은 후 팀별로 재산 관리 상태를 꼼꼼히 점검했습니다. 또 스튜디오 등 제작 현장도 둘러보며 우리 교회 방송 프로그램이 어떻게 만들어지는지 보고받았습니다. 이번 주 오산리 기도원에선 성령 충만을 위한 금식 기도 대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식 여기까지입니다. 날이 더워지면서 무더위로 마스크 착용을 소홀히 하는 경우가 있는데요. 나와 다른 사람의 건강을 위해 반드시 마스크 착용하셔야겠고요. 성전 입장과 퇴장 때에도 앞사람과 충분한 거리 두기 유지하시기 바랍니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다.
할렐루야 할렐루야 7월 둘째 주일 일부 예배 나오신 성도 여러분들을 주님의 이름으로 환영합니다 오늘도 우리 가운데 성령으로 충만하게 임재하셔서 하나님을 향한 거룩한 소망을 품게 하시는 하나님께 경배와 찬양을 드립니다 고통의 멍에 벗으려고 고통의 멍에 벗으려고 예수께로 나갑니다 자유와 기쁨 
할렐루야 우리를 맞아주시는 하나님께 영광의 박수 올려드립니다 내가 매일 기쁘게 매일 기쁘게 술래에게 내가 주의 발이 나를 안보하미요 내가 주의 금복을 받는 참된 비결 주의 영이 함께하미라 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 함께하시네 종기를 걸으며 만나 기뻐하는 것 주의 영이 함께하미라 저의 주에 빠져서 저의 주에 빠져서 평안함이 없을 때 예수 십자가의 공로 힘입어 
저 일어나셔서 함께 찬양드립니다. 성령 하나님 오늘도 충만하게 임재하여 주옵소서 말씀 가운데 기도 가운데 성령으로 충만하여 주옵소서 말씀 전하실 당의장 목사님에게 성령의 기름을 부어주옵소서 우리의 주여 삼창하시고 함께 기도합니다 주여 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 참 좋으신 하나님 아버지 하나님 오늘 가운데 함께하여 주옵소서 성령 하나님 오늘도 성령으로 충만하여 주옵소서 성령 하나님 인정하고 환영하고 고생드리고 의지하오니 성령 하나님 오늘도 성령으로 충만하여 주시고 말씀 전하시는 강의방 목사님에게 성령의 기름을 부어주시고 말씀을 듣는 가운데 성령으로 충만하게 하여 주시고 기도 가운데 성령으로 충만하게 하여 주옵소서 찬양하라 내 영혼아 찬양하라 내 영혼아 Praise the Lord my soul Praise the Lord my soul Let everything inside me Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, my soul. Give thanks to the Lord, my soul. Let everything inside me give thanks to the Lord. Be joyful, my soul. Be joyful, my soul. Let everything inside me be joyful and be joyful. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers 
under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him or creatures here below. Praise Him, noble yet heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, fed and buried. He descended into hell the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence it shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. There shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing, sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round the surf falling. But for the showers we plead, there shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again. Over the hills and the valleys, sound of abundance of rain, showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round the falling, but for the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessing. Send them up on us, O Lord. Grant to us now a refreshing. Come and now honor thy word. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessing. Oh, that today they might fall. 
Now as to God we are confessing. Now as on Jesus we call. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling. But for showers we plead. Amen. Heavenly Father and merciful God, this is the Holy Sunday and we are here to worship you. And we give thanks to you with honor. We have committed various sins, but thanks to the precious blood of Jesus, we are covered by the grace of Jesus Christ. Because of coronavirus pandemic, the world is in panic. And Heavenly Father, protect us from uh, catching the disease and let us realize that God is only our shield. And let us return to the Lord, re realizing that God is the only salvation. And Heavenly Father, let us be awake and alarmed not to be um, swept over the trends of the world. Heavenly Father, there are so many political leaders and let them be wise and prudent, prudent and um, let both North Korea and South Korea be harmoniously united um, by the help of the Holy Spirit. And remember our Pastor David Yonggi Jo and Pastor Young Hun Lee, give them power, strength, wisdom of the words of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And today our Pastor Young Hun Lee will deliver the message of God, be with him and let him be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us open our heart to realize the words of God and Heavenly Father listen to our prayers. And we have various church organizations from the uh, Sunday school uh, to the old mission or the group missions and let our church departments be filled with the Holy Spirit so that our church have will have another um, reverse and um, reviver again and Heavenly Father bless all the helping hands and volunteers to serve the worship service and let them bear the meaningful fruit to give glory to the Lord and we give thanks to the Lord and we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today's scripture reading is found in Ezekiel chapter 47 verse 1 through 5. Um, it's Ezekiel chapter 47 verse uh, 1 to 5. The man brought me back to the entrance of the temple and I saw water coming out from under the threat or the temple toward the east. And the water was coming down from under the south side of the temple south of the altar. He then brought me out through the north gate and led me around the outside to the outer gate facing east, and the water was flowing from the south side. As the man went as the word with a measuring line in his end, he measured up a thousand cubits and then led me through water that was ankle deep. 
He measured up another thousand cubits and led me through water that was knee deep. He measured up another thousand and led me through water that was up to the waist. He measured up another thousand, but now it was a river that I couldn't cross because the water had risen and was deep enough to swim in a river that no one could cross. Amen. We welcome all the foreign guests to our church. And this is your interpreter giving you a simultaneous interpretation of Sunday service. So you may be able to join us in worship. For a while, you can take up your headphones to listen to the choir's music. <laughs> Thank you for the beautiful song. And we cannot see the ends of the coronavirus outbreak. And we are doing our best efforts to prevent coronavirus from uh, occurring in the church. However, uh, more strict her rules are applied um, the choir team members should wear masks and small church cell meetings are not allowed um, so we have to pray hard and we need to be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit to overcome these kind of difficulties caused by the coronavirus pandemic. And also we need to pray for uh, the erratic groups in South Korea uh, to be gone. 
and for most importantly we should pray for all the churches in Korea uh, to be awake by Jesus name three times we will pray individually TV, mobile, and so you can see the TV, 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 오 주의 성령여 성령이 맛이 없어서 마음의 병든 자 육신의 병든 자 환경의 어려움에 처한 자들을 공의력이 주셔서 저들을 고쳐 주시고 어려움에서 벗어나게 하여 주시고 하나님으로 충만케 하여 주셔서 믿음으로 승리한 사람 살아도록 주님 은혜 내려 주옵소서 오 주님 영광과 주께 여러분 세 함께 하여 주옵소서 은혜 내려 주옵소서 주의 뜻이 이루어지게 하여 주옵소서 할렐루야 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 영광 종기 홀로 받으시옵소서 할렐루야 할렐루야 성령님 내게 Holy Spirit come to me I pray Come to me as power. Heavenly Father, let us be filled with the Holy Spirit to overcome these difficult moments. And Heavenly Father, help the coronavirus to be ended quickly all over the world and help us to return to the normal life with the uh, regular and normal worship services in the church and heavenly father there are many church members attending the worship service on and offline and bless all of those church members in jesus name i pray amen And based on the Ezekiel chapter 47, verse 1 to 5, I will deliver the sermon with the title of the four stages of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And the four stages of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. After believing in Jesus, we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit to be um, powerful Christian members uh, with gaining the victory. When Jesus was cross, the disciples were away with betraying Jesus. Even they had spent uh, three years with Jesus, they saw and witness, witnessed the amazing miracles uh, done by Jesus, and they knew uh, the every rule taught by Jesus but before being filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit they were not powerful on the contrary they were totally transformed after being filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit so that they became the great disciples of Jesus to spread the gospel to gain a victory in our faithful life to follow Jesus, we should be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Um, according to today's scripture reading, Ezekiel sees the marble in his temple vision. There is a stream following from the sacred structure. Just picture him tracing the course of the crystal clear water. And Ezekiel chapter 1 and 2, 
Uh, the man brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water coming up from under the thread towards the temple toward the east. The water was coming down from under the south side of the temple, south of the altar. He then brought me out through the north gate and led me around the outside to the outer gate facing east, and the water was flowing from the south side. And, uh... Ezekiel's angelic guide leads him away from the temple, measuring the distance as they go. Uh, the angel repeatedly has Ezekiel pass through the water, and the prophet finds that it deepens rapidly. The first stage um, is related to ankle deep depth. depth. Um, the water in the story is related to work of the Holy Spirit and the water here is living water coming from the Holy Spirit. We need the work of the Holy Spirit in our life. And first stage is related to ankle deep stage. Our footsteps should be turned towards the church. And our ankle should be uh, tightly held by the Holy Spirit. The directions where we go uh, should be very righteous to please the Lord. Uh, to follow in a right way, we need to read the words of God, uh, words of God day and night. To do this, we should be awake to choose where to go um, to please the Lord. Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Where we go, we should give glory to the Lord. And we should move our footsteps to the place where we can give glory to the Lord. And in the past, our footsteps may be um, going to the uh, bars or clubs or gambling clubs. But after believing in Jesus, our footsteps should go to the place um, we worship services or wish, or our footsteps, footsteps uh, should go to the place where we please the Lord. So our foots should be uh, held by the Lord very tightly to go to the right way. And the second stage is related to knee-deep depth. When um, Ezekiel measured um, another thousand cubits, his knee was soaked in the water. And our knees should be held by the Holy Spirit. Without prayers, we can realize the wills of God. So we have to put down our knees to pray humbly to know the will of God. And many Christians sadly um, don't set aside special time uh, to pray hard. In some cases, many Christians just pray when they have meals a day. If we are uh, real Christians, uh, then we have to pray very um, regularly. Without prayers, we cannot experience the miracles of God. Colossians chapter 4 verse to devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. 
From today, we need to decide very firmly to be the man of prayer. Um, in the morning, we pray, and before going to bed, we should pray again. Whatever we do, we need to pray hard to be awake and to be alarmed to discern the wills of God. Think about Jesus. Jesus started his life for uh, Jesus. Prayed very hard uh, for his mission. According to Mark chapter 1, verse 35, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went up to the solitary place where he prayed. And um, in the past, many Korean churches initiated to have the early morning services. And this early morning prayer was started by Jesus. And Matthew chapter 14, verse 23, after he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. And um, nowadays, many people have very busy and hectic um, schedules for their um, businesses or um, family lives or school works and many people say that they don't have enough time to pray hard but we need to be wise to set priorities to know what is very important just like jesus we need to uh, go to the solitary place and we have to set aside special time for spending praying hard According to Luke chapter 6, verse 12 and 13, one of those days Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spend the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose twelve of them, whom he also designated apostles. Even on the cross, Jesus prayed there. Likewise, we should pray hard. Without prayers, there are no answers. We can see a lot of impossible things without prayers. However, everything will be possible once we pray hard before the Lord. And let us experience the miracle brought by the power of the prayer. According to Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will open to you. So seek and knock and open through your heart's prayers according to jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 call to me and i will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know especially churches are filled with uh, christians with heart prayers Isaiah chapter 56 verse 7 These I will bring to my holy mountain and give them joy in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for my house will be called a house of prayer for, our, for all nations. So um, we should pray for the church. And sometimes um, churches are in the troubles by various tensions and conflicts caused by the people without prayers. In the church, we should not fight and we should not cause various conflicts and tensions and the human relationships. Rather, we should pray hard and we should not complain Always we should watch out what we will say and spending a lot of times is not important. Our truths in prayers are very important. Um, we should pray for the will of God to be achieved in our everyday life. 
So it means that we will not insist our selfish wills or selfish desires, but we will listen to the voice of God to follow the will of God through the prayer. As time passes, we should pray for the will of God to be achieved in our everyday life, in our society, and in our nation. So let us be the men of heart prayer. And uh, prayers are the special keys to the answers of the problems. So dear brothers and sisters, let us be more devoted to praying hard. And before meeting um, various people, and or before holding of uh, various um, meetings or conferences, I always pray hard not to make any um, human mistakes. So um, we should pray before God to know the will of God. Sometimes our ways or our methods are making the problems worth. And my grandfather uh, was, uh, I was, I was, um, I was watching my uh, grand father's knee when he was dying and my grandfather's knees were very rigid maybe he was um, kneeling down a lot for praying hard in the past um, or there is old period of times, uh, many Christians um, had to put down their knees on the floor because there were uh, not, there were no chairs in the church. Anyway, I uh, imagine, I thought that my grandfather had spent so many times for praying hard by kneeling down humbly before the Lord. And the third stage um, is related to waist deep. And as a kill and the angelic guide measured off a thousand cubits once more, his waist was soaked in the water. And after being a man of prayer, um, our waist should be soaked in the water to be used as the servant of God our waist should be sent uh, should be held tightly by the Holy Spirit so that we can live humbly and gently to be a good Christian model despite hard passionate prayers our hot and bad temper uh, can cause various troubles in human relationships by hurting others' feelings. According to Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. There are some people who are very arrogant and not accepting uh his or her mistakes and these people um, usually tend to blame others for the troubles however um, as Christians we should be very humble and gentle uh, not to show our bad and hot temper of the old inner beings so um, as Christian, we need to be a good Christian model um, by learning from the personalities of Jesus. 
And think about Pharisees. They are very、uh, arrogant, and they thought、um, they were so righteous, and they were very lawful.、Um, the reason why they thought、uh, in that way was they were strictly keeping all the laws. So they thought they were very righteous and perfect. And、um, they thought they couldn't see their wrongdoings and faults, thereby blaming others. The Pharisees even、um, tried to find any faults in Jesus, the Son of God. And、um, these people who are very arrogant、uh, were driving Jesus to be on the cross. According to、um, Proverbs chapter sixteen verse eighteen, pride goes before destruction,、uh, haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs chapter fifteen verse thirty three: the fear of the Lord teaches a man wisdom, and humility comes before honor. And according to Mark chapter ten verse forty five: for even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And Jesus、uh, was very kind and gentle. And、uh, the last teaching of Jesus was washing the feet of the disciples to show how to love each other. And John chapter thirteen verse fourteen. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. And to become a great servant of God,、um, we should be very humble before God. And the anecdote. Between Pastor Chugichar and Elder Jomanshik was very well known, and the Elder Jomanshik was political leader and independent movement leader、uh, during the Japanese ruling period. And the Elder Jo、uh, has very busy schedule. And one day,、um, he was late for the worship service on Sunday service. And one Sunday worship service, Elder Cho、um, was late. And Pastor Chugichar、uh, asked the Elder Cho to stay there and stand for the worship service as the worship was started. And people there were in tension,、uh, as Elder Chu Manshi was Pastor Chu's teacher. And anyway, um, Pastor Chu Gichar asked,、uh, the Elder Chu Wanshi's teacher, um, to be stay there, withstanding for the worship service, as Elder Chu Manshi was late. Anyway, um, Elder Cho stood up there. At the end of the worship service, Pastor Cho asked the Elder Cho to pray for the closing of the worship service, and the Elder Cho stood for the worship service and he prayed. I prayed I was late for the worship service. Forgive that I was not a good Christian model. And I pray that Lord forgive me that I made my pastor concerned. Anyway, the elder Cho was very humble and gentle. And those two,、um, including Pastor Chu Gichar and Elder Chu Manshik, became the great Christian leaders, and they devoted their、uh, they devoted their lives for God. And the fourth stage is related to the river stage. And、uh, when the angel and Ezekiel measure off a thousand cubits again, he faced a river which、uh, he could not cross. 
The last stage of the fullness of the Holy Spirit is complete trust toward God. Uh, it was started from the ankle deep, and the knee deep, and then waist deep, and the last stage is river stage. And finally, um, Ezekiel finds that it deepens very rapidly, soon become a torrent that could cross only if he were to plunge in and swim. So uh, we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit very fully and completely. According to Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Once we are filled with the Holy Spirit, our vain and selfish wishes will be gone and we fill our minds and hearts with the divine calling and divine wishes. According to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18, do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. So um, we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit very perfectly. According to Psalm chapter 37, verse 4 and 5, delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him. And he will do this. Uh, we reading the words day and night, and praying every day, and being filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, we can be very powerful Christians in the Lord. And John Wesley was well, very well known and famous. Um, Christian leader and now he was very well known famous but while uh, he was sent to the missionary in the colony Georgia in America at the moment the new uh, world his mission was not that much successful and in late 1735 he went to uh, went back to england again after the failures of his mission in the new land and the ship made its way to england but the weather was very bad and the ship found itself in serious trouble he was very terrified but he noticed that the group of german moravians were not afraid and he was amazed by their attitude without fears and uh, wesley returned to london and he uh, recounted his older skate experience in his journal and um, he wrote that he felt his heart very strangely warmed and he felt he did trust in christ christ alone for salvation and an assurance was given him that he had taken that Jesus had taken away his sins and he realized that Jesus saved him from the law of sin and thus and after this um, amazing experience he was totally different and transformed he was very brave and um, John Wesley continued to preach through the British Isles. Nothing stopped him. And Wesley pushed on through rainstorms and blizzards and if his coach uh, and his um, efforts were changing the societies. During his ministry, John Wesley uh, rode over 250,000 miles on horseback, a distance equal to 10 circuits of the globe along the equator. And he preached over 40,000 sermons. And he was totally different after being filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. So once we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we can become the great servants of God. And I bless you. And I bless you. And I bless you. And I pray for you. Heavenly Father, and 
we must be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit to be different. Let us experience the fullness of the Holy Spirit starting from ankle deep to the river stage. And we prayed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this time we call the newcomers. Please close your eyes. Our life disappears very quickly. And it disappears very quickly. And this is very important. And we have to receive Jesus as our personal Savior. And if you return to Jesus, and if you want to get out of heretic groups, or if you want to uh, believe in Jesus as your personal Savior, decide your heart and stand up from your place. Wherever you are, stand up. And put your hands on your chest and follow my prayer. Heavenly Father, I'm a sinner. I don't know where I came from. I don't know why I leave. And I don't know where to go. I've been wandering the world. You died for my sins. And I believe in you as my personal savior. Now I become a child of God. From now and forever, I will live with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And this time we will pray individually by calling Jesus' name three times. 성의 사람들이 되게 하여 주옵소서 성의 사람들이 되게 하여 주옵소서 성의 사람들이 되게 하여 주옵소서 성령 충만 말씀 충만 은혜 충만 감사 충만 주여 우리가 기도의 사람 되게 하시고 하나님 겸손의 사람 되게 하시고 성령 충만 받아 능력의 사람 되게 하여서 맡긴 사람을 잘 감당하도록 은혜 내려 주옵소서 사람을 바라보지 말고 환경을 바라보지 말고 자신을 바라보지 말고 주일만 바라보고 믿음으로 또 믿음으로 믿음으로 또 믿음으로 전해 나가는 제보자들로 은혜를 간절히 바라고 소원합니다. 오 주의 성령이여 주의 성령 역사하시게 인도 주관하여 주옵소서 주의 성령 역사하시게 인도 임교 주관하여 주옵소서 믿습니다 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 할렐루야 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 주님만 믿고 자가 바라봅니다 주님만 믿고 자가 바라봅니다 주님만 믿고 자가 바라봅니다 주의 성령이여 주의 성령이여 주의 성령이여 역사하시게 인도 주관하여 주옵소서 우리 집에 선하시고 기뻐하시고 온전히 뜻이 이루어지게여 주옵소서. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, <laughs> 오소서 Holy Spirit come to me I pray Come to me on my thirsty soul come with holy fire Come to me Fill me with your spirit. This time we pray for being healed. Heavenly Father, and we put our faith and let us be healed. Go away all the problems. From our head to toe, be strengthened and be healthy. Go away migraine mental depression go away right now and eye disease nose disease and throat disease go away right now back pains neck pain shoulder pains go away and go away heart disease and high blood pressures go away and go away diabetes and go away various cancers and malicious tumors and go away skin troubles be harmonious within your family members and be successful in your business and Heavenly Father, bless us, and we give thanks to your healing. And in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Jesus, come to me. 
Come to me, Jesus, on my dry soul. And I pray, Jesus, come to me with your mercy and love. Come to my thirsty soul. The person suffering from the severe headache and um, a stroke uh, will be healed. And the person with stomach ache with infections uh, will be healed. And God is healing the joint trouble, joint pains, and hands and knees pains. And our God becomes our doctor and healer. And the source of the sickness um, may be related to our attitude or our wrong behavior. And sometimes um, stresses uh, causes the stresses cause various um, various symptoms of disease. So um, let us pray before the Lord for us to have the peace in our hearts. And this time we pray for the various offerings. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and grace. And we listen to the precious sermons um, from our pastor, Young Un Lee. And we want to live for the glory of God. Heavenly Father, we prepare various offerings as the small token of our love and use these things for the glory of God and help us to be prepared. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
every day at uh, 9 p.m. we still doing our best effort to pray hard for the end of the coronavirus disease. When you come to the worship service, wear your mask very thoroughly, and we need to keep social distan distancing very thoroughly. And the new book written by the Pastor Young Hun Lee, The Leadership of Jesus, is just released. And also we look for the new students for the four autumn semesters for Yongsan Theological School. And um, dear brothers and sisters, um, please park your cars on the uh, places which are allowed for your parkings. And we cannot hold the newcomers uh, event. And Dear new brothers and sisters, still coronavirus is not ended yet, but um, we have to be awake and pray hard individually until the coronavirus will be um, stops. We keep praying hard. Currently, uh, vaccines are treatment therapy and uh, are being developed. So um, maybe um, at the end of this year, we should be um, careful not to be uh, caught by the coronavirus disease. Um, many people are in trouble because of financial difficulties the only way for us to overcome various difficulties is uh, related to be in the lord so dear brothers and sisters let us not be frustrated and rather let us pray hard now i pray for you heavenly father there are various sufferings and adversities caused by the coronavirus pandemic. Um, we cannot see any positive signs, but let us not lose our hope in the Lord. Heavenly Father, we prepare various offerings and use these offerings for the kingdom of God. There are Sunday offerings, tithe and mission offerings and heart center offering and the other construction offerings. And Heavenly Father, use all these offerings for the kingdom of God to be enlarged. Heavenly Father, bless all these people, and in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of God, 
and indwelling fellowship and guidance of the Holy Spirit be with you and all of your family members abundantly. Amen. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. My Lord is good. And my Lord is good. As your interpreter, it has been a great pleasure to help you at Sunday service. May God be with you and bless you. Thank you.
여러분, 주님 안에서 평안하셨습니까? 7월 둘째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 4일 이영호 목사를 강사로 지구역장 세미나를 갖고 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 믿음으로 영적 재충전을 새롭게 했는데요. 첫 소식 심지혜 리포터가 전해드립니다. 영적 부흥의 주인공이 되자를 주제로 열린 이번 세미나는 코로나19 사태로 전면 중단된 소그룹 모임의 리더들이 감염증 종식 이후를 준비할 수 있도록 마련된 시간입니다. 1, 2부로 나뉘어 열린 이날 행사는 세미나와 헌신 예배로 진행됐습니다. 이영훈 목사는 지구역장들의 영적 재무장을 주문했고 동시에 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 충성을 당부했습니다. 지구역장님들은 절대 긍정으로 무장해서 교회에 대해서는 절대 긍정, 절대 감사로 충성해야 될 것입니다. 단한 번도 하나님은 믿음이 없는 사람, 부정적인 사람, 원망 불평한 사람과 함께 일하신 적이 없고 믿음의 사람들하고 일하셨기 때문에 절대 긍정의 믿음은 주님 일꾼의 근본적인 자세입니다. 또 대교구와 지성전을 호명하며 참석자들을 격려했습니다. 참석자들은 각자가 이끌고 있는 지구역 원을 위해 기도했고 스스로의 영적 회복을 위해 마음 모아 기도했습니다. 이날 세미나에선 설문조사를 통해 우리 교회 지구역장의 연령과 성별, 예배 참석률, 봉사 연수 등을 확인했고 또 교구장과 교회에 대한 건의사항 등도 받았습니다. 이어진 이분은 지구역장 헌신 예배로 드렸습니다. 연이어 강단에 선 이영훈 목사는 성령 충만과 말씀 충만의 삶을 강조하며 성숙한 그리스도인의 열매인 긍정과 감사의 언어 생활을 당부했습니다. 우리가 입을 열어서 남을 판단하고 남을 비방하면 하나님 앞에 죄를 짓는 것입니다. 지금까지 우리가 잘 모르고 습관적으로 그런 삶을 살았던 부분이 있지만 은 이제 이 시간은 이후로는 완전히 우리가 입에 재간을 물려서 덕스러운 말만 하고 남을 살리고 칭찬하고 치료하고 용서하고 회복시키는 말만 하고 하나님 옆에 영광 드리고 덕을 끼치는 여러분 되기를 주님으로 축원합니다 말씀에 이어 참석자들은 간절히 기도하며 맡은 바 사명에 온전히 헌신하는 지구역장들이 될 것을 다짐했습니다. 믿음 안에서 표대를 향한 경주에 돌입한 우리 교회 모든 지구역의 부흥을 응원합니다. FSTV 뉴스 심지입니다 이영우 목사는 이일 국민일보가 마련한 특별 대담에 함께했습니다. 대담은 주한 장로교회 주승종 목사의 사회로 진행됐습니다. 계속해서 심지혜 리포터입니다. 국민일보가 마련한 이날 대담은 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국 교회 어떻게 세울 것인가를 주제로 진행됐습니다. 코로나 바이러스는 전 세계의 이동을 제한시키고 예배 또한 비대면 온라인 예배로 바꿔놓는 등 한국 교회의 큰 숙제를 안겼습니다. 주승중 목사는 지난 5개월간 지속한 온라인 예배가 가져온 예배자의 수동적 태도와 매너리즘에 대한 경계로 대담을 시작했습니다. 이에 대해 이영훈 목사는 교회가 교회다움의 본질을 회복한다면 위기는 기회가 될수 있다고 말했습니다. 온라인 오프라인으로 가고 있는데 이럴 때 이제 첫째로 중요한 것은 우리가 어떻게 성도들이 예배에 대한 자세를 가져야 될 것인가. 어디서 예배를 드려도 한 앞에 진실되게 예배를 드려야 되는 그러한 그 예배의 본질적인 문제를 다시 한번 깨우쳐야 되는 필요성이 있는데 그것이 어떻게 교회마다 이 부분을 이제 성도들의 삶을 적용시켜 나가느냐라는 생각을 먼저 해봅니다. 그리고 이를 위한 시작으로 가정 예배의 회복을 제안했습니다. 이번 기회 가정이 살아나고 예배가 살아나는 방향으로 가정 예배를 복원하는 것이 어떻게 되는가 하는 제안을 해봅니다. 그래서. 또 교회와 성도들이 스스로를 성찰하며 예배 현장의 변화와 선한 영향력을 끼치는 모습으로 변화하자고 주문했습니다. 예배 전체가 한 시간 얼마 짧은 시간이지만 처음 촬영부터 시작해서 끝날 때까지 감동 속에 드려지는 예배, 성령의 그 역사심이 넘쳐나는 예배로 예배 현장이 바뀌어진다면 음 사실 우리 1907년 그 평양 장대역의 대풍 운동을 기억합니다만은 일단 그런 부흥의 역사를 다시 재현할 수 있는 계기를 마련할 수 있지 않겠는가. 정말 모일 때는 정말 강한 성령의 임지를 체험하고 흩어서는 사회 속에 변화를 가져오는 선한 영향을 끼치는 그러한 모습으로 바뀌어지지 않겠나 그런 생각을 해봅니다. 
끝으로 이영훈 목사는 성령의 열매 맺는 성숙한 그리스도인의 삶을 당부하는 것으로 이날 대담을 마무리했습니다. 성령의 역사가 그동안 너무나 이 매니페스테이션, 은사 쪽으로 가 있었는데 이제는 그러한 시대에서 성령의 열매 쪽으로 가서 보이는 것이 아니라 실천되어져서 삶을 진짜로 바꾸는, 삶 현장에서 바꿔놓는 그런 모습이 필요하지 않겠는가. 코로나19 사태가 이렇게 장기화될 때 오히려 지금이야말로 한국 교회가 그냥 확 퍼져 들어가서 사회 속에 퍼져 들어가서 소외된 계층을 섬기는 일 지금이야말로 그들 가서 섬기는 것이 그게 예배가 아니냐 그 생각합니다. 이영훈 목사와 주승중 목사의 이날 특별 대담은 7일자 국민일보 전면에 게재돼 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국 교회의 방향성을 제시했습니다. FSB 뉴스 심재입니다 오산리 최자실 기념 금식 기도원 초입에 세워진 예루살렘과 실로암 성전이 코로나 바이러스에 지친 한국 교회 성도들의 영적 재충전과 쉼을 위한 장소로 기대를 모으고 있습니다. 김선태 리포터가 보도합니다. 은혜와 기적의 동산으로 불리는 오산리 최자실 기념 금식 기도원은 1973년 설립돼 한국 교회 기도 운동과 성령 운동을 견인하며 응답의 주님을 만나는 곳으로 유명합니다. 매년 교파를 초월해 많은 성도들이 찾는 기독 명소로 또 영적 재충전을 위한 기도의 자리로 각광받고 있습니다. 아시아 성도 방한성회 등 외국인 성도들의 방문도 이어지며 꾸준히 해외의 기독인들로부터도 사랑받고 있습니다. 기도원 초입에 자리한 기존 실로암 성전을 헐고 그 자리에 연면적 659평, 지상 3층 규모의 새 성전을 건축했습니다. 1층은 650명이 예배할 수 있는 규모로 실로암 성전으로 명명됐고 2, 3층은 복층 구조로 1,000명이 동시에 예배할 수 있는 대성전으로 예루살렘 성전으로 이름 붙였습니다. 모임의 규모에 따라 성전을 선택해 예배할 수 있습니다. 신축 성전은 2017년 11월 착공 후 설계 변경 등의 변수로 1년여간 공사가 유보됐다가 2018년 11월 재개돼 2020년 6월 중공 감사 예배를 드릴 수 있었습니다. 이영훈 목사는 기도원에 올라가 기도할 때마다 공사 현장을 방문해 상황을 점검하고 안전한 시공과 성도들의 예배 편의에 최선을 다해달라고 당부했습니다. 신축 성전은 자연 채광을 극대화한 밝고 쾌적한 디자인을 채택해 예배는 물론 세미나와 음악회 등 다양한 교회 행사를 소화할 것으로 기대됩니다. 성전의 외형 또한 아름답고 세련돼 기도원의 이미지 쇄신에도 기여할 것으로 보입니다. 우리 성도님들 기도원에 많이 오셔서 함께 기도해서 이 한국 교계의 역사를 바꾸는 그 일에 동참해 주시길 바랍니다. 26일 중공 예배에서 이영훈 목사는 참석자 모두를 향해 강력한 기도가 회복될 것을 당부했습니다. 기도 회복되어야 됩니다. 강력한 기도가 회복되어야 됩니다. 내가 살고 가정이 살고 교회가 살고 대한민국에 사는 길은 기도밖에 없던 것을 잊지 말게 되기를 바랍니다. 벽돌 한 장이라도 올리겠다는 마음으로 많은 성도들이 각자의 옥합을 깨뜨려 함께 건립한 새성전을 통해 오산리 기도원이 갖고 있는 기도응답의 산실이라는 명성이 계속되길 기대해봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 6월 마지막 주에는 고등교구 현장 예배가 재개됐죠. 7월 첫째 주에는 아우들인 중등교구의 현장 예배가 다시 시작됐습니다. 자세한 소식 성지연 리포터가 전해드립니다. 3월 첫 주부터 코로나 바이러스로 인해 중단된 중등교구의 현장 예배가 19주 만에 다시 시작됐습니다. 학생들은 성전 입장에 앞서 고등교구에서 그랬던 것처럼 체온을 측정했고 또 학생 건강 상태에 대한 자가진단 문진을 작성 후 좌석표를 배정받아 입장했습니다. 성전 안은 지정된 좌석에만 학생들을 앉혀 거리 두기를 유지했습니다. 이날 중등교구는 학생 간 접촉을 최소화하기 위해 같은 층에 위치한 길마을과 진리마을은 예배 시간을 달리했습니다. 이에 따라 오전 9시에는 길마을과 생명마을이 예배했고 11시에는 진리마을이 예배하도록 했습니다. 중등 예배를 위해서 우리가 열 체크도 하고 거리 두면서 어, 그리고 자석도 거리를 두면서 준비했습니다. 우리 많은 친구들이 같이 함께 예배를 같이 드렸으면 좋겠습니다. 오랜만에 재개된 예배는 코로나 바이러스에 감염이 줄지 않아 교사들이 직접 회중 찬양을 인도했고 
또 학생 찬양대도 세우지 않았습니다. 학생들은 교회에 나와 친구들을 만나는 것만으로도 행복해 했습니다. 아, 이제 교회학교 오랜만에 나오니까 이제 다시 만나 친구들도 얼굴 다시 보니까 너무 좋은 것 같고 선생님들도 함께 만나니까 정말 좋은 것 같습니다. 온라인으로 예배드리는 점이 불편한 것도 있었고 그리고 오니까 편한, 편해서 한편 좋고 그리고 친구들이랑 만나서 좀 좋은 것 같아요. 코로나 바이러스라는 큰 도전 앞에도 교회에 나온 중등교구 학생들의 환한 얼굴을 보며 신앙 전승의 위대함을 생각해 봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 성지연입니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 7월 재직과 봉사자를 위한 특별 새벽 기도회가 9일부터 4일간 예수님의 리더십을 주제로 진행됐습니다. 이영호 목사는 겸손과 온유, 순종의 리더십을 주제로 설교했고 참석자들은 말씀을 숙고하며 교회가 교회다움을 회복할 수 있도록 겸손과 온유, 순종을 마음 깊이 다짐했습니다. 지국장 회의가 7일 있었습니다. 회의를 주재한 이영훈 목사는 젊은 교회, 다음 세대를 키우는 교회가 되도록 각 부서가 지혜를 모으고 힘을 모아야 할 때라며 이를 위해 전력을 다하자고 당부했습니다. 이어진 교직원 연합예배에선 우리가 우선해야 할 것은 말씀과 기도라며 가장 중요한 것을 놓치지 말자고 전했습니다. 코로나19 위기 극복을 위한 장애인 대교구 지원 사랑의 살라눔이 지난 4일 배단이 광장에서 있었습니다. 이용호 목사는 각자의 삶의 자리에서 열심히 기도하며 믿음의 승리를 이루는 성도들이 되자고 격려하고 현장에서 사랑의 쌀을 전했습니다. 이날 나눈 쌀은 10kg들이 1,100g입니다. 기독교대한 하나님의 성회는 7일 제69차 제1회 정기임원회와 정기실행위원회를 갖고 코로나 바이러스로 어려움을 겪고 있는 교단 산하 1,500개 임대교회와 농어촌 미자립 개척교회의 임대료 등 4억 5천만 원을 지원기로 결의했습니다. 지원금은 교회성장연구소와 협력해 미자립교회의 온라인 예배 시스템 구축 등에 사용됩니다. 순복음 총회신문 창간 27주년 기념예배가 7일 있었습니다. 순복음 신문은 교단지로서 우리 교단과 교계 소식을 신속하고 정확하게 보도하며 사랑받고 있습니다. 이날 이영훈 목사는 순복음 신문이 더욱 업그레이드되어 한국교회 성령운동에 불을 붙이는 귀한 사명을 감당해달라고 전했습니다. 설교 후에는 이태근 총회장의 격려사와 정동균 총회장, 강영선 수석 부총회장의 축사가 있었습니다. 국제고개발 NGO 구피플은 나눔 가게 캠페인을 전개하고 있습니다. 이 캠페인은 나눔에 동참하고자 하는 사업장이 매월 일정 금액을 도움이 필요한 이웃에게 후원하는 것으로 현재 여의도 소재 신미호 케어, 김산보 등 11곳의 소상공인들이 함께하고 있습니다. 또 구피플 신혜진 나눔 대사가 운영하는 클럽 인너 호텔 리조트는 구피플과 함께 식수 부족으로 어려움을 겪는 아프리카 후원을 위한 모금 캠페인을 진행하고 있습니다. 사진이 들어간 체크카드 성도 등록증을 발급하고 있습니다. 발급을 원하는 성도들은 사진과 신분증, 성도 등록증, 국민은행 또는 우리은행의 통장 사본을 지참하고 소속 교구에 가서 발급 신청서를 작성하면 됩니다. 모바일 비대면 신청도 가능합니다. 재산위원회는 5일 방송국 재산 검열을 가졌습니다. 위원들은 방송국의 재산 증감 현황 등의 보고를 받은 후 팀별로 재산 관리 상태를 꼼꼼히 점검했습니다. 또 스튜디오 등 제작 현장도 둘러보며 우리 교회 방송 프로그램이 어떻게 만들어지는지 보고받았습니다. 이번 주 오산리 기도원에선 성령 충만을 위한 금식 기도 대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식 여기까지입니다. 날이 더워지면서 무더위로 마스크 착용을 소홀히 하는 경우가 있는데요. 나와 다른 사람의 건강을 위해 반드시 마스크 착용하셔야겠고요. 성전 입장과 퇴장 때에도 앞사람과 충분한 거리 두기 유지하시기 바랍니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다.
할렐루야 여의도 순복음교회 7월 둘째 주일 2부 예배 자리에 함께 하신 성도님들을 축복합니다 오늘도 우리의 간절한 기도 위에 주의 거룩한 성령의 은혜가 충만하기를 사모하며 신령과 진정으로 살아계신 하나님을 찬양드립니다 
주님께 감사의 박수 올려드립니다 불빛같은 주성여 강도하는 우리에게 지금 밤이 마셔서 영광 보여주소서 성령이여 이마사 우리 여기 소원을 만족하게 하소서 기다리는 우리에게 불로 불로 충만하게 하소서 주여 제단 우리에 우리 몸과 영혼과 우리 가진 모든 것 지금 바치옵니다 성령이여 이마사 우리 영의 소원에 
허락하신 주의 성령 하나님 오늘 주일 2부 예배 위에 놀라우신 하나님 은혜를 도와여 주시옵시고 생명의 말씀은 증거하시는 당일의 목사님 그 입술의 성령이 충만한 은혜를 도와달라고 우리 주님을 세워내치며 동성으로 기도합니다 주여 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 할렐루야 거룩하신 하나님 존귀하신 주님의 은혜를 찬양합니다 날마다 우리와 함께하여 주시옵시고 생명의 말씀으로 인도하여 주심을 감사합니다 거룩하신 주의 성령 하나님 날마다 충만하게 하여 주시고 하나님 덕분 풍성하신 하나님의 은혜를 경험할 수 있도록 주여 주여 임자여 주옵소서 하나님의 놀라우신 은혜를 도와여 주시옵소서 하나님 오늘 우리가 신령과 진정으로 살아계신 하나님을 온전히 예배하기를 원합니다 생명의 말씀을 전하여 주시는 당이나 목사님 그 말씀 말씀에 기름 부어주시옵시고 하나님의 놀라신 은혜들로 도와여 주시옵소서 그 놀라신 주님 이름을 찬양합니다 할렐루야 찬양하라 내 영혼아 Who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers. and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart you will not fear the terror of night nor the the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness nor the plague that destroys at midday amen please stand as we sing our opening hymn found on page one Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen.
I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Almighty Father, O oh Father God, thank you, Father, for your protection. We were under the wings of your protection for the past one week, and now we are here to worship you on Sunday. Thank you, Father, for your wonderful grace upon us, O oh good Lord. We now praise your name upon high, and we also glorify your name with our hymns and praises. Father God, please accept our praises today, Father. You said that those who do, are not enlightened are like animals who are bound to be destroyed. Disrupted. Father God, we do not know the sins and iniquities we have committed. But Father, we now ask for your grace upon us so that we can be enlightened to the sins and iniquities we have committed. Father God, let us have great repentance upon us so that we can repent all of our sins and iniquities. Father, we now pray for our country. Our country, which was established by your own hands, are now standing before you. Being royal to you, Father God, let us expand our territory around the world and ex also become a witnesses to the gospel to the very end of the earth. Oh, Father God, let us receive your grace upon us. And we also pray for our presence and all the politicians and all the leaders of our society. Oh, Father God, let them, Father God, make a difference starting from their own self so that they can also 
make a difference around their family members and the other community in society. Due to the COVID-19 virus, the whole earth is under a great turmoil. Father God, even we know that you can't drive all the demons and all the, the the diseases out of us. Father God, let us, Father God, defeat this virus. Father God, and let us also have your grace so that we can get back to normal as soon as possible. Let our churches, Father God, have a great revival and rebirth. Let us also pray for great blessings upon our church. We pray for our senior pastor, Mr. Seung Gi Jo, and senior pastor, Young Hun, and all the pastors, anoint them with the Holy Spirit abundantly so that they can be your great servants, uh, able servants, Father God. We now also pray for all the departments of this church, including the elders' department and the Sunday school. Father God, let them be really blessed that they can work and live for your glory. Father God, we also pray that we could sp stop the spread of a extreme Islam movement as well as a, the, the movement for a same-sex marriage, including the law that is about to be passed in our country. Father God, let us also keep them at bay so that can, we can keep our country as holy. Father God, there are many people who are under great problems and difficulties. Let uh, all of us seek resolution out of all the problems today and be with our senior pastor, Lee Young, who is going to preach the gospel today. Father God, as he preaches the gospel, oh Father God, let him be greatly anointed with the Holy Spirit and be with the choir and bless them all. And also with their praises and hymns, we want to glorify your name. And there are many serving hands today. Father God, bless them all as well. And also, Father God, be with all the worshipers who are with us in every means possible. Uh, please lead this service. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Bible today is Ezekiel chapter 47, verses 1 through 5. The man brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water coming out from under the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the temple faced east, the water was coming down from under the south side of the temple, south of the altar. He then brought me out through the north gate and led me around the outside to the outer gate facing east, and the water was flowing from the south side. As the man went eastward with a measuring line in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and then led me through water that was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand cubits and led me through water that was knee deep. He measured off another thousand and led me through water that was up to the waist. He measured off another thousand and now it was a river that I could not cross because the water had risen and was deep enough to swim in a river that no one could cross. Amen.
Thank you, Corey, for the wonderful performance. As we have prolonged situation with the COVID-19 virus, everything seems to be on a standstill. But our faith has to be matured over and over again. And we also transform ourselves in uh, uh, in a way that it will please the Lord. And we all also need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Even though we have difficulties and concerns, we should not be complacent, complacent with the constatus of our faith. When we pray out the Lord with, with a loud voice, the Lord will answer our prayers. Due to the new guidelines to curb the spread of the virus, we have difficulties in coming together to the chapel and worship the Lord. But still, we need to come together and pray out to the Lord. And then the Lord will show His grace upon us. Let us pray that we could stop the spread of the COVID-19 virus and let us see stability in every kind and corner of our society. Let us also pray that we could have a peaceful reunification between the two Koreas. And let us also pray that all the problems be answered and met and resolved with the grace of the Lord. Let's pray out to the Lord, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, O oh Lord. God of infinite love, grace, and mercy. As we are going through these difficult times, Father God, we also take this chance to look back on ourselves. Oh, Father God, let us, Father God, have a stronger faith and recover the passion that we had in you. And no matter how difficult life gets, let us march forward with the words in our hands. Father God, let us, Father God, stop the spread of the COVID-19 virus, and let us also see a great revival of, this, of the sluggish economy, and Father God, let us be freed from the fear of this pandemic. Today, we have many worshipers who are with us via satellite and on the internet and in many prayer places and in disciples churches. Father God, be with all of them with your grace. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Today, based on Ezekiel chapter 47, verses 1 through 5, I'd like to share God's grace with a message titled, The Four Stages of the Fullness of the Holy Spirit. Please repeat after me. The Four Stages of the Fullness of the Holy Spirit. The Four Stages of the Fullness of the Holy Spirit. After believing in Jesus Christ and be saved, we all need to be filled with the Holy Spirit to lead a successful and victorious religious life. Without being filled with the Holy Spirit, we become inerrant. And the disciples of Jesus Christ, even though they followed Jesus Christ for three years and a half, listening to the messages from Jesus Christ and witness all the, the wonders and miracles by themselves, when Jesus was seized and captured, all the disciples ran away, and the head disciple, Apostle Peter, denied Jesus Christ three times in the court of the high priest. However, when they received the Holy Spirit at the day of Pentecost, they all became transformed and they were totally changed. And the disciples became great um, missionaries and witnesses to gospel, and they preached the gospel with a courage. And in order for us to have a victorious religious life, we must receive the Holy Spirit. It's not a matter of choice. It is a must that we receive the Holy Spirit so that we can have a victorious life out of all the difficulties and concerns facing us. Today, I'd like to share the message with uh, the Ezekiel's vision. In his vision, we could have you know, um, a series of images regarding the fullness of the Holy Spirit. First, Ezekiel saw water coming out of the temple, and it was going down to the east. Uh, the Bible says like this, the man brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water coming out from under the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east. The water was coming down from under the south side of the temple, south of the altar. He then brought me out through the north gate and led me around the outside to the outer gate facing east, and the water was flowing from the south side. So he was brought to the face the east side following the water and the water depth was about ankle deep first let's think about the ankle deep stage the bible says like this as a man went eastward with a measuring line in his hand he measured off a thousand cubits and then he and led me through water that was ankle deep when we believe in jesus christ and receive the holy spirit first we are seized by our ankles we were supposed to go to the world to follow our own desires, but now we are coming toward the church, and we are no longer being seized by our, flesh, our desires of the flesh. Rather, we are heading towards the places where the Lord will be pleased. So, first thing is to be seized by our ankles. Um, it means that we shall not go to any places where the Lord is not quite delightful. And the reason why we are in great turmoils and difficulties is because we found ourselves in a places that is not quite right in the eyes of the Lord. When we are not seized by our ankles, we just go to places out of our own desires and will, and then we commit um, sins and iniquities and leading us to destruction. So we must take the right path. Meditating on the Bible day and night, we must follow the lead of the Lord as a blessed person. Instead of the of just having the right destination, we also make sure that our route is also the right one. In order to make that happen, we must meditate on the Bible day and night. The Bible says like this, Place is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Wherever we go, we must we exercise the work 
to glorify the Lord, and we must take all the steps to glorify and to delight the Lord. So, when we are seized by our ankles, we are no longer going to places like a gambling house. Rather, we are going to places where we could do good, and it will be the footsteps of a, a blessed person. And if you are not there yet, then it, it means you haven't reached the first stage of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. So if you are very, very, very careful in the places where you are going, then you will be blessed in your life. Second is the knee-deep stage. After measuring off another 1,000, the water went up to a knee. He measured off another thousand cubits and led me through water that was knee deep. So when we are heading towards the chapel and churches by the grace of the Holy Spirit, the next thing is to be seized by our own knees. And in order to live for the glory of the Lord, we must understand the will of the Lord. But Unless we pray out the Lord, we cannot understand the will of the Lord. And we, if we pray, then no one could stand against us. Corinthians says like this, Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Because we are living in abundance, we have lost our power of prayer. Many people say that they believe in Jesus Christ. However, they do not pray unless they have meals three times a day. And sometimes people just skip a prayers at a, a meal table. That's why people are so vulnerable to all kinds of tests and temptations. The, the life of Jesus Christ was a life of prayer. He started off his public ministry with a 40 days of fasting and prayer. And also, Jesus Christ was the one who started early morning prayer meeting. And Mark says like this, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. And after showing great wonders and miracles, Jesus also found himself in a solitary place to pray. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. Mark also says like this, after he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. Jesus always devoted himself to prayer whenever he made very important decisions. He first of all prayed out to the Lord. And then he made a decision afterwards. And when Jesus selected his own disciples, he prayed all night. Luke says like this, one of those days he just went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles. So Jesus also took up the cross with a prayer, and nothing happens without prayer. Prayer is the first and second and the last thing that we need to do. Without prayer, we cannot resolve any problems. But when we pray, when we do pray, problems will be resolved. When we pray fervently, miracles do happen to us. Mark says like this, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. When we op when we ask, and seek and knock the door, the door of answers, the door of response will be open, wide opened. Remind is like this, call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Church must be filled with a prayer, a moment of prayer. And the Bible says that the church is a house of prayer for all nations. So Isaiah says like this, These I will bring to my holy mountain and give them joy in my house of prayer. The burnt offerings and sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. Prayer uh, makes church a rightful place as a church. All the problems and discord at the church starts with the fact that people do not pray out the Lord. So when we pray, then the Lord will lead us to great victory. But when we do not pray, then because of our own emotions, we would be led to great discord and 
disputes. But what really matters is not how much, how long you pray. What really matters to us is that you kneel down before the Lord when praying to the Lord, which means that you are become obedient to the words of the Lord. And on our knees, we are, are saying that, Oh, Father God, not my will, but your will will be done. So when we are praying, then we are asking for the will of the Lord to be accomplished. That is the essence of prayer. Brothers and sisters, I pray that you kneel down before the Lord in prayer for the rest of your lives. And the Lord will listen to you and your prayers, and He will answer you with great and unsearchable things. When my grandfather passed away in 1971, we also had a ceremony to lay his body in the coffin. First thing we need to do was to cleanse his body with alcohol, and then I witnessed that his uh, knees were shaped like the camel's knees because he spent so much time kneeling on the floor pray to the Lord. Actually at the time the church had a wooden floor and he came to a church every morning, every early morning and he uh, kneeled in prayer for hours a day and even though he was uh, on, uh, behind the prison bars to keep his faith, he also prayed in, prayed on his knees, and I was greatly touched by the shape of his knees, and it was a symbolic to me that we must pray even harder, brothers and sisters. I pray that you become a man of prayer, kneel on before the Lord, kneel in prayer, and make a decision in prayer, and live your lives as a man of prayer. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, first we could go to the right places, and second, then when we um, have the knee deep stage, and the third stage is the waist deep stage. So the Bible says, He measured off another thousand and led me through water that was up to the waist. After, being, after we become a man of prayer, and then we must be seized by our own waist which means that we must become gentle and humble. Even though we are praying out to the Lord, still, if we have a, uh, issues with our personality and characters, then we will just create another problems. So we must become humble and gentle as Christians. The Bible says like this, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. There are people who are taking pride in the fact that they pray to the Lord for hours. For example, the Pharisees always are boastful of the fact that they pray in fasting once a week and kept all the, the rules and regulations of the Lord. So from the outward uh, look, they seemed perfect, but they were so proud of themselves. That's why they crit often criticized others and rebuked on people and did not see the shortcomings of their own. Instead, the Pharisees always judged people around them as if they are the judges. And th they eventually crucified Jesus Christ, the Son of the Lord, on the cross. And these people who spearheaded the crucifixion of Jesus Christ was the Pharisees who took pride in the fact that they, that they are the men of the Lord. So the Pharisees and the low teachers, they were not humble and gentle, and they were so proud of themselves. If they were not so proud but humble, they would have understand the will of the Lord, and they did not. They wouldn't have done what they have done. But this story tells us a great lesson: whether we are knowingly or unknowingly, take pride 
in the fact that we pray out to the Lord quite often and also uh, take the time to worship the Lord and be in service at churches. The Bible says like this, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty heart, spirit before a fall. The fear of the Lord teaches a man wisdom, and humility comes before honor. So Jesus Christ came not to be served, but to serve people. Mark says like this, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Before the crucifixion, the last lesson to his disciples was about humbleness and being in service to others. Jesus did what his servants did at the, the time, which is to sh wash the feet of his disciples. And he said like this, Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, so you also should wash one another's feet. In order to accomplish the great will of the Lord, we must take the resemblance of Jesus Christ. Let us now share the story of a pastor Ju Gitter and elder Jo Man Sik. And this story comes from a church in Pyongyang and elder Jo Man Sik was the a spiritual leader and was a, a politician and uh, he was also engaged in a um, many aspects of the, the society at the time as a leader and one day um, he had a meeting on Sunday morning and because of the, meet, the, the meeting that he had to attend he was late in the, the Sunday service so he went off to a center chapel and he found out that the sermon had started already. So Elder Cho opened the gate of the chapel and slid into the chapel quietly. But he was caught by the uh, the pastor Ju Gitter and Ju Gitter. Pastor Jugitra said that Elder Jo, because you're late, stand there until the end of the service. Actually, um, Pastor Ju was a pupil of Elder Jo, and Elder Jo was the one who invited Pastor Ju to this church. But now, because of this request, Elder Joe could have been humiliated. However, he stood up there until the very end of the uh, service. And when the, the service was about to be over, Pastor Joe said that, Elder Joe, I will give you at the time to pray out to the Lord in public. And then Elder Joe said like this, I pray and in repentance. First, I was late in the service, and second, I did not set a good example as an elder, and third, I also uh, brought uneasiness to the heart of a pastor Jew. So it shows how humble uh, Elder Jew was. Elder Jew was a spiritual leader at the time, but he was very humble and gentle like this. and. Uh, in 1950, during the Korean War, they were martyred by the Communist Party, and and eventually they were martyred to keep their faith against the. Uh, Communist Party during the Korean War. So just like the, the, these two ancestors of faith, we also want to um, become humble and gentle. If we uh, just go, want to see our works, our will to be done, instead of become humble and gentle, and then we will have different problems and difficulties at the end of the road. So I urge you to be gentle and humble. And then the next stage is whole body deep stage. The Bible says like this, he measured off another 
thousand and now it was a river that I could not cross because the water had risen and was deep enough to swim in a river that no one could cross. The last stage is that you are seized by your whole body. When we are truly filled with the Holy Spirit, then we are seized by the Holy Spirit entirely. And we are succumbed to the Lord, and we believe that the Lord is everything to to us. And this is the last stage of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Galatians says like this, I have been crucified with Christ, and I longer live. But Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. This is the true fullness of the Holy Spirit. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, and then we are seized by our by our whole body so that we can live for the glory of the Lord. The Ephesians also says like this, do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Be, with, be filled with the Spirit. Be pil filled with the Spirit. When we are filled with the Spirit, and then great things are happening to us, the Lord gives us a ho holy wishes, and then He leads us with uh, the will of the Lord. And the Bible says like this, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will do this. When we meditate on the Bible every day and pray out to the Lord and be seized with the Holy Spirit, then great and unthinkable things will happen to us. Oh, Father God, let us be filled with the Holy Spirit. As we go through these difficult times of the COVID-19, let us overcome the difficulties and concerns of oh, Father God, and let us also glorify your name as your servant. Just like this, let us pray to the Lord. And then now let us share the story of a John Wesley, who is the founder of a the Methodist Church. He uh, was born as a son of a pastor. Actually, he was the 15th child out of a 19th and siblings. He went to Oxford College and he was um, served as a missionary displayed to a Georgia in the United States. Even though he worked three years as a missionary, he did not get a great success. So, and he lost his courage and, and decided to come back home. On his way to the UK, the ship he was on board met with a great turmoil and high winds and waves. And he was uh, driven by fear that he's about to die. But now he was hearing the hymns that were sung by the Moravians who um, sought the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Actually, they were just like uh, the, just like us. And he was greatly touched by the Moravians who did not fear the high winds and waves because of the Holy Spirit. And he went to the oldest gate where the Moravians mingled together and prayed out to the Lord. It was, uh, it was May 24th of 1738, and he was around 8.45 uh, in the night. And when he was leading to the interpretation of the the prefix of Martin Luther, he felt this uh, heat as coming out of his heart. And he said like this, I felt like I was on a burning heat, and I f understand, and I felt that I am saved with the faith, and only with the faith in the Lord. And the Lord demolished all the sins of mind for good and I got this assurance that I am saved from the sins and, and, and death and he also said that I look upon all the world as my parish and for about 50 years he worked as a traveling pastor according to the records he uh, traveled around 12 1,800 kilometers per 
year and he preached the gospel around 1,000 times per year. So in the 18th century, the UK was uh, faced with uh, disorder and turmoil because of the Industrial Revolution. But his movement made a great difference, and which was led to the establishment of a Methodist church. And also, he had a great influence on over the Pentecost movement in the 20th century. Brothers and sisters, we, it is a must that we are filled with the Holy Spirit. And when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, then, and we will be led to the places where the Lord is pleased. We shall not go to any places which is not delightful to the Lord. And second, we must become a man of a prayer. We must start off a day with prayer. And in the midday, we must pray at the Lord, and whether we have time or not, we must pray at the Lord. When we meet someone, pray out the Lord, and when you also start uh, uh, your day at your workplace, then pray in the very beginning. And if you are also attending a seminar, then start the seminar with a prayer. And if you are a house uh, hold wife, also pray out to the Lord for your children, for your husband, and etc. If we pray out like this over and over again, great and unsearchable things will happen to us. After becoming a man of a prayer, we must become humble and gentle, and we must not be proud. Instead, we must be uh, in service to others, and then the whole world will become a greater, greater place. The reason why we have difficulties in our, our society is that those who, uh, who uh, have great positions are not so humble and gentle. And when you become humble and exercise the great humbleness and gentleness in our life, then we could resolve many problems in our society. And then when the last date, then we will be seized by the Holy Spirit entirely, and then great and uncertain things will be presented to us, and we will become great servants of the Lord. Let's pray out to the Lord, out of infinite love, grace, and mercy. Father God, because we did not become a man of the Holy Spirit, we have been faced with great difficulties. We went to places which are not quite uh, desirable for us, and we were not seized by the Holy Spirit. That's why we were faced with a series of problems and difficulties. But from now on, it has become a man of a prayer, so that we can go to places where you are pleased with. And it has also become a man of prayer uh, with a humble heart. And it has also become a great servant of yours, being filled with the Holy Spirit so that we can, Father God, carry out the great mission that is bestowed upon us until we meet again. Uh, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please head, give your head down for a while. What is your life? It's like a morning mist in, that goes in, in a split second. In our short span of life, there is no greater blessings than believing in Jesus Christ. So if you want to believe in Jesus Christ, please stand up and please stand up with your uh, hands placed in your heart. And if you are also tempted to a pagan beliefs like Sinchenji or a uh, or uh, all kinds of, of right, uh, unrighteous things, then repent. And now let's come back to the Lord and please pray, pray after me. I, Father God, know that Jesus Christ died on the cross and was resurrected. And now I want to take the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. I have become a child of God. And from now till forever, I want to live for you and live with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, as we pray, let us pray that we become a man of a prayer. Let us be seized by our ankle, knee, and waist, and the whole body, so that we can become a man of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray out to the Lord. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, O oh Lord.
사랑과 은혜 아주 원하시는 하나님 아버지 간절하게 도드립니다 우리 모두가 성리의 사람이 되게 하여 주옵소서 우리의 발걸음에 주님을 기쁘시게 하는 곳으로만 옮겨지게 하여 주옵소서 날마다 기도의 무릎을 꿇게 하여 주옵소서 우리의 허리가 잡혀서 겸손과 온유로 주님을 섬기며 교회를 섬기게 하여 주옵소서 온 몸이 사로잡혀서 말과 뜻과 행실이 주님을 기쁘시게 하는 삶이 되게 하여 주옵소서 오 할렐루야 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 주님만 바라봅니다 주님만을 잡니다 주의 성령이여 주의 성령이여 주의 성령이여 주의 성령이여 주의 성령이여 주의 성령이여 역사시 함께 있는 주가 나여 주옵소서 오 할렐루야 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 성령님 내게 오소서 Please place your hands on the part that is not well. And if you have any difficulties and concerns, please place your hands on your heart. O oh God of love, please look upon us. Please look down upon us. Father God, we now place our hands on the part that is not well. And Father God, our hands are on our heart because of the problems and difficulties we have. Oh, Father God, we now ask for your help. In the name of the Lord, our Jesus Christ, will the problems go away? Will the, the diseases go away from us? All kinds of mental illness go away? Pain in the, sh in the eyes and nose and, and shoulder and spine and arthritis and neck go away. Kidney dysfunction and stomach ache go away. Arthritis, diabetes go away. Cancer, tumor go away. And skin dysfunction go away. And our prayers for children be answered. Oh, Father, let us have great harmony at home. Let us also have great blessings at home. Let us be freed from economic dif difficulties. Father God, thank you, Father, for your healing. May now pray is your name upon high. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. There is a person who is suffering from a heart um, pain and a stomach ache, and they are healed. And a person who is also suffering from a pain in the eyes is healed. And a person suffering from a pain in the shoulder is healed. And a person who is suffering from uh, a depression is healed. A person suffering from bladder infection is healed. <laughs> Let us confess like this. That we will become a man of a prayer. It's now to make an offering. God of infinite love, grace, and mercy, thank you, Father, so much. Father God, thank you, Father, for leading us to this chapel so that we can worship you with our sincere heart and mind. Father God, we are so much grateful that we send to the words of the life that we want to make an offering. Please control our hands and minds as we make the offering. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
every day at night, every night at 9 p.m. we have a prayer to curve the spread of the COVID-19 virus and to also to stop the move to legalize same-sex marriage. They must take part in this prayer. And we also have the following church news and information. There is a briefing for foreigners after the 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. services. After the service, you will see a staff member carrying a foreigner's briefing sign. The person holding the sign will guide you to the foreigner's briefing room in the 11th floor in the CCMM building. And, and once again, there is a briefing for foreigners after the 9 and 11 services. And because of the prolonged COVID-19 situation, we are uh, supposed to follow even stricter regulations. And we are setting the good example, and which is drawing great attention and also compliments from the media because we are uh, keeping the rules very tightly. Let us keep uh, doing the good work. And when you are coming to the um, chapel, actually you are keeping a great order. And But on your way out, please also keep a the right social distancing between um, church members. Let's uh, pray out to the Lord. Father God, we just made an offering. Please, Father, accept the offering and make sure that we could utilize this offering for the will of yours. We made the offering for various kinds of reasons, especially for the heart hospital and all the construction projects. Let us glorify your name with this offering and bless those who made the offering 100% so that they can, Father God, reach out to the help, to the need around them giving things to you we pray in jesus name amen please stand as we sing the lord's prayer our father which are in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, may the infinite grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of God, and the indwelling fellowship and guidance of the Holy Spirit be with you and all of your family members who are filled with the Holy Spirit and taking the steps of the fullness of the Holy Spirit, going to the right places with a humble and gentle mind, abundantly forever. Amen. God is good. God is good. God is so good to me.
여러분 주님 안에서 평안하셨습니까? 7월 둘째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 4일 이영호 목사를 강사로 지구역장 세미나를 갖고 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 믿음으로 영적 재충전을 새롭게 했는데요. 첫 소식 심지혜 리포터가 전해드립니다. 영적 부흥의 주인공이 되자를 주제로 열린 이번 세미나는 코로나19 사태로 전면 중단된 소그룹 모임의 리더들이 감염증 종식 이후를 준비할 수 있도록 마련된 시간입니다. 1, 2부로 나뉘어 열린 이날 행사는 세미나와 헌신 예배로 진행됐습니다. 이영훈 목사는 지구역장들의 영적 재무장을 주문했고 동시에 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 충성을 당부했습니다. 지구역장님들은 절대 긍정으로 무장해서 교회에 대해서는 절대 긍정, 절대 감사로 충성해야 될 것입니다. 단한 번도 하나님은 믿음이 없는 사람, 부정적인 사람, 원망 불평한 사람과 함께 일한 적이 없고 믿음의 사람들하고 일하셨기 때문에 절대 긍정의 믿음은 주님 일꾼의 근본적인 자세입니다. 또 대교구와 지성전을 호명하며 참석자들을 격려했습니다. 참석자들은 각자가 이끌고 있는 지구역원을 위해 기도했고 스스로의 영적 회복을 위해 마음 모아 기도했습니다. 이날 세미나에선 설문조사를 통해 우리 교회 지구역장의 연령과 성별, 예배 참석률, 봉사 연수 등을 확인했고 또 교구장과 교회에 대한 건의사항 등도 받았습니다. 이어진 이분은 지구역장 헌신 예배로 드렸습니다. 연이어 강단에선 이영훈 목사는 성령 충만과 말씀 충만의 삶을 강조하며 성숙한 그리스도인의 열매인 긍정과 감사의 언어 생활을 당부했습니다. 우리가 입을 열어서 남을 판단하고 남을 비방하면 하나님 앞에 죄를 짓는 것입니다. 지금까지 우리가 잘 모르고 습관적으로 그런 삶을 살았던 부분이 있지만 이제이 시간은 이후로는 완전히 우리가 입에 재간을 물려서 덕스러운 말만 하고 남을 살리고 칭찬하고 치료하고 용서하고 회복시키는 말만 하고 하나님 옆에 영광 드리고 덕을 끼치는 여러분들을 주님의 이름으로 축원합니다 말씀에 이어 참석자들은 간절히 기도하며 맡은 바 사명에 온전히 헌신하는 지구역장들이 될 것을 다짐했습니다. 믿음 안에서 표대를 향한 경주에 돌입한 우리 교회 모든 지구역의 부흥을 응원합니다. FSTV 뉴스 심지입니다 이영우 목사는 이일 국민일보가 마련한 특별 대담에 함께했습니다. 대담은 주한 장로교회 주승종 목사의 사회로 진행됐습니다. 계속해서 심지혜 리포터입니다. 국민일보가 마련한 이날 대담은 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국 교회 어떻게 세울 것인가를 주제로 진행됐습니다. 코로나 바이러스는 전 세계의 이동을 제한시키고 예배 또한 비대면 온라인 예배로 바꿔놓는 등 한국 교회의 큰 숙제를 안겼습니다. 주승중 목사는 지난 5개월간 지속한 온라인 예배가 가져온 예배자의 수동적 태도와 매너리즘에 대한 경계로 대담을 시작했습니다. 이에 대해 이영훈 목사는 교회가 교회다움의 본질을 회복한다면 위기는 기회가 될수 있다고 말했습니다. 온라인 오프라인으로 가고 있는데 이럴 때 이제 첫째로 중요한 것은 우리가 어떻게 성도들이 예배에 대한 자세를 가져야 될 것인가. 어디서 예배를 드려도 하나 앞에 진실되게 예배를 드려야 되는 그러한 그 예배의 본질적인 문제를 다시 한번 깨우쳐야 되는 필요성이 있는데 그것이 어떻게 교회마다 이 부분을 이제 성도들의 삶을 적용시켜 나가느냐라는 생각을 먼저 해봅니다. 그리고 이를 위한 시작으로 가정 예배의 회복을 제안했습니다. 이번 기회에 가정이 살아나고 예배가 살아나는 방향으로 가정 예배를 복원하는 것이 어떻게 되는가 하는 제안을 해봅니다. 그래서. 또 교회와 성도들이 스스로를 성찰하며 예배 현장의 변화와 선한 영향력을 끼치는 모습으로 변화하자고 주문했습니다. 예배 전체가 한 시간 얼마 짧은 시간이지만 처음 찬양부터 시작해서 끝날 때까지 감동 속에 드려지는 예배, 성령의 그 역사심이 넘쳐나는 예배로 예배 현장이 바뀌어진다면 음 사실 우리 1907년 평양 장대역의 대풍 운동을 기억합니다만은 일단 그런 부흥의 역사를 다시 재현할 수 있는 계기를 마련할 수 있지 않겠는가. 정말 모일 때는 정말 강한 성령의 임지를 체험하고 어떤 사람은 사회 속에 변화를 가져오는 선한 영향을 끼치는 그러한 모습으로 바뀌어지지 않겠나 그런 생각을 해봅니다. 
끝으로 이영훈 목사는 성령의 열매 맺는 성숙한 그리스도인의 삶을 당부하는 것으로 이날 대담을 마무리했습니다. 성령의 역사가 그동안 너무나 이 매니페스테이션이 은사 쪽으로 가 있었는데 이제는 그러한 시대에서 성령의 열매 쪽으로 가서 보이는 것이 아니라 실천되어져서 삶을 진짜로 바꾸는 삶 현장에서 바꿔놓는 그런 모습이 필요하지 않겠는가. 코로나19 사태가 장기화될 때 오히려 지금이야말로 한국교회가 그냥 확 퍼져 들어가서 사회 속에 퍼져 들어가서 소외된 계층을 섬기는 일. 지금이야말로 그들과 섬기는 것이 그게 예배가 아니냐 그렇게 생각합니다. 이영훈 목사와 주승중 목사의 이날 특별 대담은 7일자 국민일보 전면에 게재돼 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국교회의 방향성을 제시했습니다. FSB 뉴스 심재입니다 우산리 최자실 기념 금식 기도원 초입에 세워진 예루살렘과 실로암 성전이 코로나 바이러스에 지친 한국교회 성도들의 영적 재충전과 쉼을 위한 장소로 기대를 모으고 있습니다. 김선태 리포터가 보도합니다. 은혜와 기적의 동산으로 불리는 우산리 최자실 기념 금식 기도원은 1973년 설립돼 한국교회 기도운동과 성령운동을 견인하며 응답의 주님을 만나는 곳으로 유명합니다. 매년 교파를 추월해 많은 성도들이 찾는 기독 명소로 또 영적 재충전을 위한 기도의 자리로 각광받고 있습니다. 아시아 성도 방한성회 등 외국인 성도들의 방문도 이어지며 꾸준히 해외의 기독인들로부터도 사랑받고 있습니다. 기도원 초입에 자리한 기존 실로암 성전을 헐고 그 자리에 연면적 659평, 지상 3층 규모의 새 성전을 건축했습니다. 1층은 650명이 예배할 수 있는 규모로 실로암 성전으로 명명됐고 2, 3층은 복층 구조로 1,000명이 동시에 예배할 수 있는 대성전으로 예루살렘 성전으로 이름 붙였습니다. 모임의 규모에 따라 성전을 선택해 예배할 수 있습니다. 신축 성전은 2017년 11월 착공 후 설계 변경 등의 변수로 1년여간 공사가 유보됐다가 2018년 11월 재개돼 2020년 6월 중공 감사 예배를 드릴 수 있었습니다. 이영우 목사는 기도원에 올라가 기도할 때마다 공사 현장을 방문해 상황을 점검하고 안전한 시공과 성도들의 예배 편의에 최선을 다해달라고 당부했습니다. 신축 성전은 자연 채광을 극대화한 밝고 쾌적한 디자인을 채택해 예배는 물론 세미나와 음악회 등 다양한 교회 행사를 소화할 것으로 기대됩니다. 성전의 외형 또한 아름답고 세련돼 기도원의 이미지 쇄신에도 기여할 것으로 보입니다. 우리 성도님들 기도원에 많이 오셔서 함께 기도해서 이 한국 교계의 역사를 바꾸는 그 일에 동참해 주시길 바랍니다. 26일 중공 예배에서 이영훈 목사는 참석자 모두를 향해 강력한 기도가 회복될 것을 당부했습니다. 기도 회복되어야 됩니다. 강력한 기도가 회복되어야 됩니다. 내가 살고 가정이 살고 교회가 살고 대한민국에 사는 길은 기도밖에 없다는 것을 잊지 말게 되기를 바랍니다. 벽돌 한 장이라도 올리겠다는 마음으로 많은 성도들이 각자의 옥합을 깨뜨려 함께 건립한 새성전을 통해 오산리 기도원이 갖고 있는 기도응답의 산실이라는 명성이 계속되길 기대해봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 6월 마지막 주에는 고등교구 현장 예배가 재개됐죠. 7월 첫째 주에는 아우드린 중등교구의 현장 예배가 다시 시작됐습니다. 자세한 소식 성지연 리포터가 전해드립니다. 3월 첫 주부터 코로나 바이러스로 인해 중단된 중등교구의 현장 예배가 19주 만에 다시 시작됐습니다. 학생들은 성전 입장에 앞서 고등교구에서 그랬던 것처럼 체온을 측정했고 또 학생 건강 상태에 대한 자가진단 문진을 작성 후 자석표를 배정받아 입장했습니다. 성전 안은 지정된 자석에만 학생들을 앉혀 거리 두기를 유지했습니다. 이날 중등교구는 학생 간 접촉을 최소화하기 위해 같은 층에 위치한 길마을과 진리마을은 예배 시간을 달리했습니다. 이에 따라 오전 9시에는 길마을과 생명마을이 예배했고 11시에는 진리마을이 예배하도록 했습니다. 중등 예배를 위해서 우리가 열 체크도 하고 거리 두면서 어, 그리고 자석도 거리를 두면서 준비했습니다. 우리 많은 친구들이 같이 함께 예배를 같이 드렸으면 좋겠습니다. 오랜만에 재개된 예배는 코로나 바이러스의 감염이 줄지 않아 교사들이 직접 회중 찬양을 인도했고 
학교에도 학생 찬양대도 세우지 않았습니다. 학생들은 교회에 나와 친구들을 만나는 것만으로도 행복해 했습니다. 아, 이제 교회학교 오랜만에 나오니까 이제 다시 만난 친구들도 얼굴 다시 보니까 너무 좋은 것 같고 선생님들도 함께 만나니까 정말 좋은 것 같습니다. 온라인으로 예배드리는 점이 불편한 것도 있었고 그리고 오니까 편한, 편해서 편 좋고 그리고 친구들이랑 만나서 좀 좋은 것 같아요. 코로나 바이러스라는 큰 도전 앞에도 교회에 나온 중등교구 학생들의 환한 얼굴을 보며 신앙 전승의 위대함을 생각해 봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 성지연입니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 7월 재직과 봉사자를 위한 특별 새벽 기도회가 9일부터 4일간 예수님의 리더십을 주제로 진행됐습니다. 이영호 목사는 겸손과 온유, 순종의 리더십을 주제로 설교했고 참석자들은 말씀을 숙고하며 교회가 교회다움을 회복할 수 있도록 겸손과 온유, 순종을 마음 깊이 다짐했습니다. 지국장 회의가 7일 있었습니다. 회의를 주재한 이영훈 목사는 젊은 교회, 다음 세대를 키우는 교회가 되도록 각 부서가 지혜를 모으고 힘을 모아야 할 때라며 이를 위해 전력을 다하자고 당부했습니다. 이어진 교직원 연합 예배에선 우리가 우선해야 할 것은 말씀과 기도라며 가장 중요한 것을 놓치지 말자고 전했습니다. 코로나19 위기 극복을 위한 장애인 대교구 지원 사랑의 살라눔이 지난 4일 배단이 광장에서 있었습니다. 이용호 목사는 각자의 삶의 자리에서 열심히 기도하며 믿음의 승리를 이루는 성도들이 되자고 격려하고 현장에서 사랑의 쌀을 전했습니다. 이날 나눈 쌀은 10kg들이 1,100g입니다. 기독교 대한 하나님의 성회는 7일 제69차 제1회 정기임원회와 정기실행위원회를 갖고 코로나 바이러스로 어려움을 겪고 있는 교단 산하 1,500개 임대교회와 농어촌 미자립 개척교회의 임대료 등 4억 5천만 원을 지원키로 결의했습니다. 지원금은 교회성장연구소와 협력해 미자립교회의 온라인 예배 시스템 구축 등에 사용됩니다. 순복음 총회 신문 창간 27주년 기념 예배가 7일 있었습니다. 순복음 신문은 교단지로서 우리 교단과 교계 소식을 신속하고 정확하게 보도하며 사랑받고 있습니다. 이날 이영훈 목사는 순복음 신문이 더욱 업그레이드 되어 한국 교회 성령 운동에 불을 붙이는 귀한 사명을 감당해 달라고 전했습니다. 설교 후에는 이태근 총회장의 격려사와 정동균 총회장 강영선 수석부총회장의 축사가 있었습니다. 국제고호개발 NGO 구피플은 나눔 가게 캠페인을 전개하고 있습니다. 이 캠페인은 나눔에 동참하고자 하는 사업장이 매월 일정 금액을 도움이 필요한 이웃에게 후원하는 것으로 현재 여의도 소재 신미호 케어, 김산보 등 11곳의 소상공인들이 함께하고 있습니다. 또 구피플 신혜진 나눔대사가 운영하는 클럽 인너, 호텔, 리조트는 구피플과 함께 식수 부족으로 어려움을 겪는 아프리카 후원을 위한 모금 캠페인을 진행하고 있습니다. 사진이 들어간 체크카드 성도 등록증을 발급하고 있습니다. 발급을 원하는 성도들은 사진과 신분증, 성도 등록증, 국민은행 또는 우리은행의 통장 사본을 지참하고 소속 교구에 가서 발급 신청서를 작성하면 됩니다. 모바일 비대면 신청도 가능합니다. 재산위원회는 5일 방송국 재산 검열을 가졌습니다. 위원들은 방송국의 재산 증감 현황 등의 보고를 받은 후 팀별로 재산 관리 상태를 꼼꼼히 점검했습니다. 또 스튜디오 등 제작 현장도 둘러보며 우리 교회 방송 프로그램이 어떻게 만들어지는지 보고받았습니다. 이번 주 오산리 기도원에선 성령 충만을 위한 금식 기도 대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식 여기까지입니다. 날이 더워지면서 무더위로 마스크 착용을 소홀히 하는 경우가 있는데요. 나와 다른 사람의 건강을 위해 반드시 마스크 착용하셔야겠고요. 성전 입장과 퇴장 때에도 앞사람과 충분한 거리 두기 유지하시기 바랍니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다.
할렐루야 살아계신 하나님을 찬양합니다 에이더스버금교회 7월 둘째 주 주일 3부 예배 자리에 함께 하신 성도님들을 주님 이름으로 축복드립니다 거룩하신 하나님의 성령의 은혜가 오늘 드려진 모든 예배 위에 함께 하여 주시기를 사모하며 신령과 진정으로 주님을 찬양드립니다 
주님께 감사와 영광 박수 올려드립니다 주의 성령이 우리와 함께 하십니다 내가 매일 기쁘게 정성을 다 
주의 산부 예배 위에 놀라우신 하나님의 은혜를 도하여 주시옵시고 생명의 말씀을 증거하시는 대기자 목사님 그 입술에 성령이 충만한 기름 부으심을 도하여 우리 모두 성령 충만 받게 하여 주님의 세발에 치며 동성으로 기도합니다 주여 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 할렐루야 살아계신 하나님을 찬양합니다 하나님 이 시간 우리가 날마다 주님 앞에 나와 신령과 진정으로 살아계신 하나님을 예배하며 찬양하며 간절히 기도할 수 있는 은혜를 도하여 주시니 감사하오니 주여 이 시간 우리 안에 주의 성령의 은혜를 도하여 주시옵소서 성령의 충만한 은혜를 도하여 주시옵소서 Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Give thanks, O oh my soul. Give thanks, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, give thanks, O oh my soul. Rejoice, O oh my soul. Rejoice, O oh my soul. And all that is within me. Rejoice, O oh my soul. Good morning to all of our foreign guests worshiping with us in this service. This is Isaac, your interpreter for this service. We invite you to prepare your heart for the service by taking a few minutes to pray with us now. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feather, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the, death, the, uh, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Amen. Let us sing our opening hymn found on page 1. Praise God from whom our blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye, heaven, ye, ye heavenly host.
praise the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Now we will recite the Opposites Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the God the Father Almighty. From thence He shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Please turn in your hymn book to page 182, 183. The old hymn book is 172. There shall be a shadow of blessing. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing, sent from the saviors above. Shadows of blessing. Shed a showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops around us are falling, but for the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessing. Precious reviving again. Over the hills and the valleys. Sound of a bird, uh, sound of abundance of rain. Showers of a blessing. Showers of a blessing we need. Mercy drops around us are falling. Before the showers we plead. There shall be showers of a blessing. Send them up on us, O Lord. Grant us now a refreshing. Come and now honor thy word. Showers of a blessing. Showers we showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops around us are falling. But for the showers we plead, there shall be showers of a blessing. Oh, that today they might fall. Now, as to God, we are confessing. Now, as on Jesus, we call. Showers of a blessing. Showers of a blessing we need. Mercy drops around us are falling. Before the showers we plead. Amen. Now our elder Kim Kwang Bu will pray for this service. Dear Heavenly Father, you are the way and the truth and our our good God, we truly thank you for your wonderful grace. 
due to coronavirus 19 all people in the world are suffering out there but thank you for protecting us and leading us and calling each one of us to your house and let us worship you in spirit and truth our father you are our good god we have the faith that's why we are all here today i'll come and meet with each one of us and reward each one of us today our father god hear our prayer and crying out give your ear to our voice today and answer all our prayers today dear father god you told us to rule of the world our father god, help us to control this pandemic in the world our father help us to develop vaccine in this world for coronavirus disease our father god you are the controller of the whole world everything is under your sovereignty father our father god and be with each one of us and let us go to the way of the prosperity father our father god and save us from all conflicts in this society father we are having severe problems and heal each one of us dear almighty god through your grace through your wonderful power let us all become one our father god save us from homosexuality our father god, save us from the discrimination father and save us from heresies our father god, you are our good god Help us to develop and revive every year, Father, and create more jobs in this nation, Father. Let senior citizens get their own job as well. Our Father God, and make our career develop every year, Father. Help us to cope with the, your mission that you have given to us. Thank you for using us as a, your instrument. Let us be armed with the absolute positivity and thanksgiving and the fourth dimension of spirituality, Father. Our Father God, and be with each one of us. Let them hear our our voice, and add more people in this, add more Christians in this nation, Father. Our Father God, you have called our Pastor Young Lee today as your precious messenger. Our Father, just like you have performed your miracles in your public life, perform your miracles through our ministry, Father. Our Father God, let this happen through our ministry, Father. Control the whole service, Holy Trinity. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You are now worshiping in the third service today. We are welcome to welcome to the yoido full gospel church and we pray that today's message and the choir will be blessing to you this is isaac bringing you simultaneous translation of this service so you may enjoy worshiping with us god bless you today The scripture reading today is found in the in the Old Testament, Ezekiel chapter 47, 1 through 5. Ezekiel chapter 47, 1 through 5. The man brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water coming out from the under the threshold of the temple toward the east. The water was coming down from the under the south side of the temple south of the altar then he then the brought me out through the north gates and led me around the outside to the outer gates facing east and the water was trickling from the south side as the man went eastward with the measuring line in his hand he measured off a thousand cubits and then the led me through water that was ankle deep he measured off another thousand cubits and led me through water that was knee deep. He measured off another thousand and that led me through water, the water that, that was up to the waist. He measured off another thousand, but now it was a river that I could not cross, because the water had arisen and was deep enough to swim in. 
a river that no one could cross. Amen. You may now enjoy listening to the choir.
Thank you for the precious anthem. Coronavirus disease still prolonged. And we are experiencing many restrictions, especially in this week. And the government is asking and more uh, disinfection guidelines. And they are asking all churches in Korea stop all private meetings and let the choir members wear masks. And they ask us not to pray loud, but we must do this. If we don't pray, we cannot see the will of God. Have mercy on this nation. And stop this coronavirus disease. We are having financial difficulties. Unstable, we have unstabilized the government. North Korea is still threatening us with armed provocation. If we need the help of the Lord, even we see everywhere, south, east, north, and west, there's no way to find the way. The answer is from up there. We must pray, have mercy on us, and save us from all difficulties. And end this coronavirus and set us free from all economic problems. And let us have a stabilized government, put everything normal. Let us have a normal service. We have a 13 churches and 136 prayer houses. We are all having service at the same time. A lot of church members having this service through satellite broadcasting. Let us all pray together. Lord, Lord, Lord. Corona Pushaso, 세계 성전에도 함께 하여 주시고 인터넷과 모바일과 TV를 통해서 예배드는 성도들로 주님 놀라운 은혜로 함께 하시고 주님 역사여 주시옵소서. So Dear Holy Spirit, come to me as we pray to you. Dear Heavenly Father, with the full of love and grace, have mercy on us today. We cannot resolve through our own strength. Have mercy on us and set us free from all these difficulties. Help us to develop vaccine as soon as possible. Set many people free through this vaccine. Restore the economy. Let us have stabilized society and economy and resolve the problem between South and North Korea, Father. Let us be reu reunited under your peace and open the way of the reunification. We rely on you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. This morning, I would like to share a message under the title, 
the four stages of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Ezekiel chapter 47, 1 through 5. Please repeat after me. The four stages of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The four stages of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. After we believe in Jesus Christ and receive the salvation, in order to live a victorious life, we need to receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The fullness of the Holy Spirit is not something you can or you don't need to receive. Jesus' Jesus' disciples followed him for the three and a half year and were at the scene of the amazing miracle and they listened and but everyone was lethargic before they received the Holy Spirit. They all scattered and ran away when Jesus was caught. Even the head disciples Peter denied Jesus three times in the courtyard of the high priest's house. But in the day of the Pentecost, they have received the Holy Spirit and they were completely changed. And they became a great witness of God. In order to live a victorious life, in order to become as a witness of God, we need to receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. We need to receive it to overcome and live a victorious life in this time of difficulties. Today, as, as Ezekiel, I would like to share today a word about the prophet Ezekiel saw something in vision. Ezekiel reached the temple in the midst of the Lucian. The water was flowing out of the temple. That was the water of the Holy Spirit. This water symbolizes the Holy Spirit. The water came throughout through the temple. Ezekiel 47, 1 through 2. Then the man brought me back to the entrance of, to the temple. I saw a water coming out of the under the threshold of the temple and toward the east. The water was coming down from the under the south side of the temple, south of the altar. Then he then brought me out through the north gates and led me around the outside to the outer gates facing east. And the water was trickling from the south side. Then Ezekiel followed the water coming from the threshold of the temple and measured off a thousand cubits. His ankle was soaked. Point number one, the ankle deep stage. Ezekiel 47 and 3 says, A man went eastward with a measuring line in his hand. He measured off a thousand cubits then and, and then led me through water was ankle deep. If you believe in Jesus and receive the grace of the Holy Spirit, your ankle will be caught first. Our steps toward the world are directed to the church. The steps that follow the pleasure of my flesh are directed to the place where the Lord rejoices. People who get drunk always and went to the bar always, but they change their direction to the place where the Lord rejoices. People who went to the place of gambling, they go to the place to practice Jesus, the love of Jesus. They are experiencing their turning points in their lifetime after we believe in Jesus Christ and fullness of the Holy Spirit. Do, do not go to the way that God doesn't like. Go to the way that God likes. Then we will be changed as a blessing. All problems causes from the place we should not go. That's why it causes problem. After we receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, we must, our ankle must be caught and go to the way that God wants. Meditate the Word of God day and night and walk with the Lord always. What, where is our final destination? We must go to the right way that God taught us to go, then we will receive the grace of the Lord. Psalms chapter 1 and 1 says, Blessed are the one who does not walk in the way, step the, with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers. That is the wrong way. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. 
always meditate the word of God day and night and go to the way of God, then you will be blessed. From this time, from now on, change your step to the way of the Lord. So after measures of another 10,000 and led through the water that was knee deep, the water must come up to the knee level. Our knees should be held by the Holy Spirit so that we may live the life of prayer. We must find the will of God. Without the prayer, there's no way to find about it. We must kneel down before God and pray. Try to find out the will of God. No one can fight against the people who praise. Colossians chapter 4 and 2 says, Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Jesus was the Son of God, but Jesus prepared everything by praying hard. He has fasted 40 days. Before he was coped with the ministry and mission, he kneeled down before God in the early in the early morning. He made an early morning prayer service. Jesus started first. Mark chapter 135. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up and left the house, left the house and went off the solitary place where he prayed. He prayed alone. Luke chapter 5, 16 says, But Jesus often withdrew to a lonely place and prayed. Mark, uh, Matthew chapter 14, 23 says, After he had uh, dismissed them, he went up on the mountainside by himself to pray. Before he made an important decision, he has prayed. Before he selected disciples, he prayed all night long. Luke chapter 12 and uh, 6, 12 says, One of those days that Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spend the night praying to God. Then when morning came, he called his disciples to him, chose 12 of them, until he died on the cross, he has prayed. Nothing will happen without prayer. Problem will be not will not be resolved without prayer. Miracle will happen when you pray. Matthew chapter seven seven says, "Ask it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you." Seek and find and knock the door. The door, the door of the answer will be open. Cry out to the Lord with all your hearts. Jeremiah chapter 33 and 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. The church must be filled with the people of prayer. It will be called the house of a prayer for all nations. That's what God is telling us, Isaiah 56 and 7 says, These will to bring you my holy mountain and give them joy in my house of a prayer. Their burnt offerings and the sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for my house will be called a house of a prayer for all nations. Called a house of a prayer for all nations. Prayer is what makes a church like a church. Here is the problem. Even we know we need to pray. People don't pray. That's why people are struggling out there in the problems. Every disturbance and trouble in the church was caused by people who don't pray properly. We must pray, otherwise we will experience the problems. We must kneel down before God. We must gain a victory. Sometimes we are living in the life of prosperity. Back in 1960s and 70s, we had difficulties, right? A lot of people came to church and cried out to the Lord. We, we had a time restriction at that time. Every, everybody had to go home before, before midnight. But people not praying out there these, during these days, they don't even pray before they're eating. That's why a lot of problems caused in our lifetime. There's no way to be resolved. We are living lethargic life. We are struggling out there. We are captured in the problems. 
but we kneel down before God. That means we are, we are not following our own stubbornness. Pray before God and kneel down before God and ask Him how to pray and follow the will of God. Let His will be done. Kneel down before God always. I bless you in the name of the Lord. And back in 1972, my grandfather passed away at that time. I saw my grandfather's knee before placing his body in a coffin. I saw his knee. His knee, I got a call, it's, it's kind of thick, kind of tough. We all, and he, he didn't, we, we didn't have to chill like this at that time. So he always had to kneel down on the floor. He, his knee became hard as a camel. I must have become a person of a prayer. I made a determination at that time by seeing my grandfather's knee. He always kneeled down like that. He never stopped praying. Every morning, early morning he went to the church and prayed before God and we had a service every day when we pray God will hear your prayer and answer your prayer we are living a short life kneel down before God and hear the voice of God and experience the great miracle of God point number three the waste deep stage Ezekiel 47 and 4 says, He measured off another 10,000, another thousand, and led me through a water that was up to the waist. After Ezekiel measured off a thousand cubits once more, his waist was soaked in the water. In order to be used as, as an instrument of God, our waist must soak in the water. We must become humble people. Despite hard prayers, our hot and bad temple that can't cause troubles in human relationship by hurting others' feeling. Sometimes people are fight like this even in the church. Everything will become in vain. Our prayers. We should be humble and gentle and devote so that we can resemble Jesus. Matthew chapter 11, 29 says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, and I am gentle and humble in heart. You will find the rest for your souls. Wear the clothes of gentle and humble. That's why we get angry easily and fight and have the conflict between people. Humbly bow down before God. Get changed. Your, your society can be changed. Your family can be changed. But the problem is, even we said we pray, a lot of people still fall into arrogance. People, Pharisees, in the time of Jesus, they were religious leaders. And they kept the law. They were good leaders. And they were saying, we fast a day a week, we offer tithe, and we keep all the laws. But, and they were fell into arrogance, they criticized others, they condemned others. This is your problem. You, you have this problem and that problem. They point their fingers at people, and they were the head of crucifying Jesus on the cross, not people. People who knows laws well, who live, who said they are living upright life, Pharisees and priests, they brought Jesus and crucified Jesus on the cross. Proverbs chapter 16, 18 says, The pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 15, 33 says, Wisdom's instructions is to fear the Lord. Humility comes before honor. Jesus did not come to reign but to serve everyone. Mark chapter 10, 45. For even the Son of Man and did not come to be saved but to save, but to serve. 
What is the last lesson that God, that Jesus gave to us? Humble attitude. And he brought water and washed everyone's feet. At the Last Supper, he brought water and the towel. And he said, John chapter 13, 14 says, Now that I, your Lord and teachers, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. In order to do the great, great things, be more like Jesus. And this is the story of Pastor Ju Gi Chol and, and Elder Cho Man Sik. And here's a famous anecdote. Elder Cho Man Sik was a leader of the nation, a leader of independent movement. He was respected by many people. He was just so busy, a lot of people came to see him, Elder Cho. And one Sunday, he was just so busy. Elder Cho was late for the Sunday worship service because of his busy schedule as a national leader. And, and Pastor already started worship service. He was late. And Pastor said to Elder, who was late, Pastor, uh, Elder Cho, please stand back there and have a worship service because you're late. Everyone's so shocked to hear that because Elder Cho Man-sik is a lot older than pa the pastor. And when pastor was attending Osan school and Elder Cho was the headmaster of that school, and Elder was the one who invited pastor to this church. So, so everybody was kind of shocked to hear that because pastor asked elder to stand back there during worship service. But after his sermon was over and he said, elder, please pray for us. And elder Cho Man Sik prayed like this, made a repentance. First, as an elder, I repent I was late. Number two, forgive me for setting a bad example as an elder. Number three, to forgive me for making servant of God upset. The elder Cho Man Sik raised the authority of the pastor like this, and he even carried pastor's bag, and they both died a martyr. Then to eventually became two great leaders of Korean church who martyred and refused to visit the shrine of Japan. And back in 1950, and Pastor Pastor Chu was dying a martyr in the prison. And they became a good example. Let us all become more like Jesus. Let us live a blessed life with the full of grace of God. Point number four, the whole body deep stage. Then Ezekiel measured off a thousand cubits again. He faced the river which no one could cross. And waist and ankle and knee was soaked in the water. The whole body was in the water now. Ezekiel 47 and 5 says, He measured off another thousand, but now it was a river that I could not cross because the water had risen and was deep enough to swim in. The river that no one could cross. This is the last stage. Soaked into the water, that means we are in the Holy Spirit, fully. The last stage of the fullness of the Holy Spirit is the complete trust toward God. Galatians chapter 2.20 says, I, ha I have been crucified with the Christ and no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. This is the fullness of the Holy Spirit. We, we must be completely die. Let Jesus resurrect it within us and let His will be done. That is the fullness of the Holy Spirit. If we try to something by ourselves and we face the problem. Ephesians chapter 5, 18 says, Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Great things will happen 
Once the earth is filled with the Holy Spirit, our vain wishes will be gone and fill our mind with the divine wishes. Psalms chapter 37 and 4 says, Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, and trust in Him, and He will do this. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, and live a life which is led by God entirely. He will open the way for you with the great blessing of God. John Wesley was the founder of a Methodist church before he has received the fullness of the Holy Spirit. He was captured in the problem. Back in 1903, he born in 19, uh, 1703, as the 15th child of 19 children, 19 children in a, a clergy family of Anglican Church in England. He grew up uh, with thorough religious education to, from an early age. And he was on the way back to home from the States. He was in the ship. He met with the winds and waves. They were almost to, almost died, but but Moravian church members was seeing with the great encouragement. They did not even fear. They all prayed like that. They were like they were like uh, today's full gospel members. Even he went to Georgia for three years, but he came back to the came back to England because he failed with this missionary missionary work. And back in 1985, 19, uh, 1738, he went to Moravian Church on the Aldous Gate streets. It was Wednesday, May 24th. 8.45 p.m., when someone read a preface of Martin Luther's Romans, he felt the great touching of God. He, he made a confession like this, I felt that something is heating up and strangely, I, I felt Jesus Christ who died for me. I had a conviction that Jesus died for me. After he has received the fullness of the Holy Spirit, he became a revivalist. He went over all the places in England. A lot of people changed and came back to the Lord. A lot of rough people became very soft. A drunkard became normal people. He drove out demons. And he said like this, I look upon all the world as my parish. Until he has passed away, he went to England, where the Scotland and Islands. He rode a horse and he went all over the places and preached the gospel. He lived as a traveling evangelist. He has preached the gospel ten, one thousand times a year. That means the three times a day, almost the three times a day. His revival movement changed the British society which was chaotic with the Industrial Revolution of the 18th century and also had a great impact on the 19th century holiness movement and the 20th century, the Pentecost movement. Through this Holy Spirit movement, it was spread all over the world. Great things could happen when we receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us use it as an instru instrument of God beautifully. Let us become people of a faith. God will lead your every steps and be the joy of the Lord. And live a victorious life. Every time we, you kneel down before, and, kneel before God and pray, you will receive victorious life. Let's humbly bow down before God and pray. Let's become all people of the Holy Spirit. Let the image of Jesus appear through our life. Let us all become precious workers of God. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Bless you in the name of the Lord. Bless you in the name of the Lord. Let us all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, with the full of love and grace, we live a short life. 
Thank you for using us as your instrument and believing in Jesus Christ. Lord, let us live for your glory. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us be armed with the Word of God. Let us become people of faith and march it forward again and again and perform great miracles through our life. Receive the Holy Spirit. Let us carve it within our mind and live a victorious life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please continue to keep your head bowed down a little while longer and give your ear to the voice of give your ear to my voice. If you still did not accept Jesus, doesn't matter wherever you are. If you can hear my voice, what is your life? Our life is just like a fog, will be disappeared someday. There's no bigger blessing than believing in Jesus Christ. If you fell into heresy, Shinshinji, please come back to the Lord. Go to the right way. You were, you were defeat, uh, deceived by heresies. If you fell into homosexuality or sexual minorities, please come back to the Lord. You will be healed. Your body and my mind will be healed. If you want to accept Jesus today, if you want to be saved, please lay your hands on the chest and pray after me. This, this prayer will lead you to the salvation. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm a sinner. I have no idea where I came from, and I don't. I have no idea what to live for. I have no idea where I'm going. I have wandered around in the world due to my sin. You died on the cross. I accept Jesus who resurrected as my personal Savior. I became a child of God. From now on, I will live with the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We welcome in the name of the Lord. This is time to pray. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us cope with your mission. We live only one life. Let us live for the glory of God. Let us all pray. Lord, Lord, Lord. 하나님 아버지 가드리도록입니다. 우리를 성령으로 충만케 하여 주옵소서. 성령으로 충만케 하여 주옵소서. 성령으로 충만케 하여 주옵소서. 성령의 사람이 되어 주님이 기뻐하시는 삶을 살아가게 하여 주옵소서. 우리의 발걸음이 주님을 기쁘지 않은 발걸음 되게 하여 주옵소서. 우리가 늘 주님 앞에 기도의 무릎을 꿇고 응답받게 하여 주옵소서. 하나님 앞에 겸손히 허리 숙이는 저들이 될수 있게 하여 주옵소서. 성령의 사람이 되어 성령에 사로잡혀 오직 하나님 영광에서 귀하게. 위대하게 아름답게 쓰임 많은 제보들 뚫어내내려 주옵소서 성령이여 임하시옵소서 성령이여 임하시옵소서 바람같이 불가 생수같이 마여 주소서 우리를 변화시켜 주시고 우리를 새 사람으로 만들어 주소서 하나님 영광에서 귀하게 아름답게 쓰임 많은 제보들 도록 주님 함께 하시고 은혜내려 주옵소서 주님 역사여 주옵소서 오 주님만 믿고 의지하고 바라봅니다 주님 함께 하여 주옵소서 so Dear Holy Spirit, come to me as I pray to you. With your great power and strength, please feel me, Lord. If, if you have any problems, please lay your hands on the chest. And please also lay your hands on the sick part of your body. Let us all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, with full of love and grace, we just have laid our hands on us today, Father. Lord, come and lay your hands on us, especially in the 60, 650 different places we are having this worship service in Korea, Father. Lord, be with us and in the whole world. Lord, touch each one of us and heal our diseases today and resolve all our problems. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your diseases go away. and Go away and stay away from the children of God. Your insomnia, mental disease, go away. Your eye disease, 
nose disease, ear disease, mouth disease, and neck disease go away. Your shoulder pain and, and joint problems go away. Your kidney disease and heart disease go away. Your high blood pressure, diabetes go away. All cancers and tumors go away. Your skin disease and sterility go away. Answer our prayer for our children. Let us have a happy family, Father. Bless our working places and business today. Answer all our prayers today. We strongly believe, Lord. Believe that you already have received it. Thank you for your miracles. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Jesus, come to me as I pray to you. With your mercy and love, feel me today, Lord. The Lord is our healer. He heals all our diseases today. A severe depression is healed today. Stomach gastric, stomach ulcer, stomach cancer is also healed. Nose pain and eye pain and shoulder pain is gone today. Squeezing heart is also healed. Joint problem is healed. When you pray, God will hear our prayer and set you free from all diseases. Please repeat after me. Let us live with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. This is time for the offering. Dear Heavenly Father of great love, we truly thank you for your wonderful love. In this blessed Sunday, and thank you for leading us and guiding us to this worship service today. Our Father God, you have called our Pastor Young Lee today, and we re you have renewed our souls through the heavenly message today, Father. Our Father God, this is time for the offering. Dear Heavenly Father, control our hands and our mind as we make our offerings today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Dear all foreign guests, I have an announcement all for all foreign guests. Number one, on Sunday, English interpretation is provided for the following worship services, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. service. Number three, number two, on Wednesday, English interpretation is provided for our service at 10.30 a.m. Number three, on Friday, English interpretation is provided for our all-night prayer meeting from 9.30 p.m. until 11 p.m. Please come and join our services. And I'll be right back after this special song.
we have the following church news and information. Every night at 9 p.m., let us all pray at the same time. For the stop spreading of the coronavirus disease, please continue to bring your church identification whenever you come to visit our church. And the new book, The Jesus' Leadership, is published. We are collecting an application. Our theological school is collecting an application for the new semester. Please use Riverside Park as your parking spaces. Our new visitors meeting is temporarily stopped due to coronavirus. The coronavirus is a prolonged. Please follow disinfection guidelines more than anything. Let, let's check our spiritual life. Let's pray and read the Word of God. We have a special guest in our church today. This is not a t like a season of election. I have a special relationship with him. He's like my friend. Our Congressman Park Jin is here today. He has graduated Oxford University and Harvard University. He will be greatly influenced to our nation. He is attending Nam Seoul Church. Please continue to pray for him. Good to see you today. Let us all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, with the full of love and grace, we made our offerings today with our whole hearts. Our Sunday offering, our Thanksgiving offering, our tithe, our construction offering, missionaries offering, and many different kind of offerings today. Let it be used for your glory, Father, and bless our hands even thousand times more than before so we may practice love of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead, lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. From thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now may the abundant grace of Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of our Father, the rich blessings and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, 
be with all the congregation and their family members. Today and in their daily life. And forever. Amen. It had been a pleasure to minister to you today in this service. This is Isaac, your interpreter for this service. And thank you for coming today. God bless you.
여러분, 주님 안에서 평안하셨습니까? 7월 둘째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 4일 이영호 목사를 강사로 지구역장 세미나를 갖고 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 믿음으로 영적 재충전을 새롭게 했는데요. 첫 소식 심지혜 리포터가 전해드립니다. 영적 부흥의 주인공이 되자를 주제로 열린 이번 세미나는 코로나19 사태로 전면 중단된 소그룹 모임의 리더들이 감염증 종식 이후를 준비할 수 있도록 마련된 시간입니다. 1, 2부로 나뉘어 열린 이날 행사는 세미나와 헌신 예배로 진행됐습니다. 이영훈 목사는 지구역장들의 영적 재무장을 주문했고 동시에 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 충성을 당부했습니다. 지구역장님들은 절대 긍정으로 무장해서 교회에 대해서는 절대 긍정, 절대 감사로 충성해야 될 것입니다. 단한 번도 하나님은 믿음이 없는 사람, 부정적인 사람, 뭐뭐 불평한 사람과 함께 일하신 적이 없고 믿음의 사람들하고 일하셨기 때문에 절대 긍정의 믿음은 주님 일꾼의 근본적인 자세입니다. 또 대교구와 지성전을 호명하며 참석자들을 격려했습니다. 참석자들은 각자가 이끌고 있는 지구역원을 위해 기도했고 스스로의 영적 회복을 위해 마음 모아 기도했습니다. 이날 세미나에선 설문조사를 통해 우리 교회 지구역장의 연령과 성별, 
예배 참석률, 봉사 연수 등을 확인했고 또 교구장과 교회에 대한 건의 사항 등도 받았습니다. 이어진 이분은 지구역장 헌신 예배로 드렸습니다. 연이어 강단에선 이영훈 목사는 성령 충만과 말씀 충만의 삶을 강조하며 성숙한 그리스도인의 열매인 긍정과 감사의 언어 생활을 당부했습니다. 우리가 입을 열어서 남을 판단하고 남을 비방하면 하나님 앞에 죄를 짓는 것입니다. 지금까지 우리가 잘 모르고 습관적으로 그런 삶을 살았던 부분이 있지만 이제 이 시간에 이후로는 완전히 우리가 입에 재간을 물려서 덕스러운 말만 하고 남을 살리고 칭찬하고 치료하고 용서하고 회복시키는 말만 하고 하나님 몇개 영광 드리고 덕을 끼치는 여러분들에게를 주님으로 축원합니다 말씀에 이어 참석자들은 간절히 기도하며 맡은 바 사명에 온전히 헌신하는 지구역장들이 될 것을 다짐했습니다. 믿음 안에서 표대를 향한 경주에 돌입한 우리 교회 모든 지구역의 부흥을 응원합니다. FSTV 뉴스 심지입니다 이영우 목사는 이일 국민일보가 마련한 특별 대담에 함께했습니다. 대담은 주한 장로교회 주승종 목사의 사회로 진행됐습니다. 계속해서 심지혜 리포터입니다. 국민일보가 마련한 이날 대담은 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국 교회 어떻게 세울 것인가를 주제로 진행됐습니다. 코로나 바이러스는 전 세계의 이동을 제한시키고 예배 또한 비대면 온라인 예배로 바꿔놓는 등 한국 교회의 큰 숙제를 안겼습니다. 주승중 목사는 지난 5개월간 지속한 온라인 예배가 가져온 예배자의 수동적 태도와 매너리즘에 대한 경계로 대담을 시작했습니다. 이에 대해 이영훈 목사는 교회가 교회다움의 본질을 회복한다면 위기는 기회가 될수 있다고 말했습니다. 온라인 오프라인으로 가고 있는데 이럴 때 이제 첫째로 중요한 것은 우리가 어떻게 성도들이 예배에 대한 자세를 가져야 될 것인가. 어디서 예배를 드려도 하나 앞에 진실되게 예배를 드려야 되는 그러한 그 예배의 본질적인 문제를 다시 한번 깨우쳐야 되는 필요성이 있는데 그것이 어떻게 교회마다 이 부분을 이제 성도들의 삶을 적용시켜 나가느냐. 그리고 이를 위한 시작으로 가정 예배의 회복을 제안했습니다. 이번 기회 가정이 살아나고 예배가 살아나는 방향으로 가정 예배를 복원하는 것이 어떻게든가 하는 제안을 해봅니다. 그래서 또 교회와 성도들이 스스로를 성찰하며 예배 현장의 변화와 선한 영향력을 끼치는 모습으로 변화하자고 주문했습니다. 예배 전체가 한 시간 얼마 짧은 시간이지만 처음 찬양부터 시작해서 끝날 때까지 감동 속에 드려지는 예배, 성령의 그 역사심이 넘쳐나는 예배로 예배 현장이 바뀌어진다면 음, 사실 우리 1907년 그 평양 장대역계 대붕 운동을 기억합니다만 일단 그런 부흥의 역사를 다시 재현할 수 있는 계기를 마련할 수 있지 않겠는가. 정말 모일 때는 정말 강한 성령의 임지를 체험하고 어떤 사람은 사회 속에 변화를 가져오는 사랑의 영역을 끼치는 그러한 모습으로 바뀌어지지 않겠나 그런 생각을 해봅니다. 끝으로 이영훈 목사는 성령의 열매 맺는 성숙한 그리스도인의 삶을 당부하는 것으로 이날 대담을 마무리했습니다. 성령의 역사가 그동안 너무나 이 매니페스테이션, 은사적으로 가 있었는데 이제는 그러한 시대에서 성령의 열매 쪽으로 가서 보이는 것이 아니라 실천되어져서 삶을 진짜로 바꾸는, 삶의 현장에서 바꿔놓는 그런 모습이 필요하지 않겠는가. 코로나19 사태가 이렇게 장기화될 때 오히려 지금이야말로 한국교회가 그냥 확 퍼져 들어가서 사회 속에 퍼져 들어가서 소외된 계층을 섬기는 일. 지금이야말로 그들 가서 섬기는 것이 그게 예배가 아니냐 그렇게 생각합니다. 이영훈 목사와 주승중 목사의 이날 특별 대담은 7일자 국민일보 전면에 게재돼 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국교회의 방향성을 제시했습니다. FSTV 뉴스 심재입니다 우산리 최자실 기념 금식기도원 초입에 세워진 예루살렘과 실로암 성전이 코로나 바이러스에 지친 한국교회 성도들의 영적 재충전과 쉼을 위한 장소로 기대를 모으고 있습니다. 김선태 리포터가 보도합니다. 은혜와 기적의 동산으로 불리는 우산리 최자실 기념 금식기도원은 1973년 설립돼 한국교회 기도운동과 성령운동을 견인하며 응답의 주님을 만나는 곳으로 유명합니다. 매년 교파를 초월해 많은 성도들이 찾는 기독 명소로 또 영적 재충전을 위한 기도의 자리로 각광받고 있습니다. 
아시아 성도 방한송회 등 외국인 성도들의 방문도 이어지며 꾸준히 해외의 기독인들로부터도 사랑받고 있습니다. 기도원 초입에 자리한 기존 실로암 성전을 헐고 그 자리에 연면적 659평, 지상 3층 규모의 새 성전을 건축했습니다. 1층은 650명이 예배할 수 있는 규모로 실로암 성전으로 명명됐고 2, 3층은 복층 구조로 1,000명이 동시에 예배할 수 있는 대성전으로 예루살렘 성전으로 이름 붙였습니다. 모임의 규모에 따라 성전을 선택해 예배할 수 있습니다. 신축 성전은 2017년 11월 착공 후 설계 변경 등의 변수로 1년여간 공사가 유보됐다가 2018년 11월 재개돼 2020년 6월 중공 감사 예배를 드릴 수 있었습니다. 이영훈 목사는 기도원에 올라가 기도할 때마다 공사 현장을 방문해 상황을 점검하고 안전한 시공과 성도들의 예배 편의에 최선을 다해달라고 당부했습니다. 신축 성전은 자연 채광을 극대화한 밝고 쾌적한 디자인을 채택해 예배는 물론 세미나와 음악회 등 다양한 교회 행사를 소화할 것으로 기대됩니다. 성전의 외형 또한 아름답고 세련돼 기도원의 이미지 쇄신에도 기여할 것으로 보입니다. 우리 성도님들 기도원에 많이 오셔서 함께 기도해서 이 한국 교계의 역사를 바꾸는 그 일에 동참해 주시길 바랍니다. 26일 중공 예배에서 이영훈 목사는 참석자 모두를 향해 강력한 기도가 회복될 것을 당부했습니다. 기도가 회복되어야 됩니다. 강력한 기도가 회복되어야 됩니다. 내가 살고 가정이 살고 교회가 살고 대한민국에 사는 길은 기도밖에 없다는 것을 잊지 말게 되기를 바랍니다. 벽돌 한 장이라도 올리겠다는 마음으로 많은 성도들이 각자의 옥합을 깨뜨려 함께 건립한 새성전을 통해 오산리 기도원이 갖고 있는 기도응답의 산실이라는 명성이 계속되길 기대해봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 6월 마지막 주에는 고등교구 현장 예배가 재개됐죠. 7월 첫째 주에는 아우드린 중등교구의 현장 예배가 다시 시작됐습니다. 자세한 소식 성지연 리포터가 전해드립니다. 3월 첫 주부터 코로나 바이러스로 인해 중단된 중등교구의 현장 예배가 19주 만에 다시 시작됐습니다. 학생들은 성전 입장에 앞서 고등교구에서 그랬던 것처럼 체온을 측정했고 또 학생 건강 상태에 대한 자가진단 문진을 작성 후 자석표를 배정받아 입장했습니다. 성전 안은 지정된 자석에만 학생들을 앉혀 거리 두기를 유지했습니다. 이날 중등교구는 학생 간 접촉을 최소화하기 위해 같은 층에 위치한 길마을과 진리마을은 예배 시간을 달리했습니다. 이에 따라 오전 9시에는 길마을과 생명마을이 예배했고 11시에는 진리마을이 예배하도록 했습니다. 중등 예배를 위해서 우리가 열 체크도 하고 거리 두면서 어, 그리고 자석도 거리를 두면서 준비했습니다. 우리 많은 친구들이 같이 함께 예배를 같이 드렸으면 좋겠습니다. 오랜만에 재개된 예배는 코로나 바이러스의 감염이 줄지 않아 교사들이 직접 회중 찬양을 인도했고 또 학생 찬양대도 세우지 않았습니다. 학생들은 교회에 나와 친구들을 만나는 것만으로도 행복해 했습니다. 아 이제 교회학교 오랜만에 나오니까 이제 다시 만난 친구들도 얼굴 다시 보니까 너무 좋은 것 같고 선생님들도 함께 만나니까 정말 좋은 것 같습니다. 온라인으로 예배드리는 점이 불편한 것도 있었고 그리고 오니까 편한, 편해서 한편 좋고 그리고 친구들이랑 만나서 좀 좋은 것 같아요. 코로나 바이러스라는 큰 도전 앞에도 교회에 나온 중등교구 학생들의 환한 얼굴을 보며 신앙 전승의 위대함을 생각해 봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 성지현입니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 7월 재직과 봉사자를 위한 특별 새벽 기도회가 9일부터 4일간 예수님의 리더십을 주제로 진행됐습니다. 이영호 목사는 겸손과 온유, 순종의 리더십을 주제로 설교했고 참석자들은 말씀을 숙고하며 교회가 교회다움을 회복할 수 있도록 겸손과 온유, 순종을 마음 깊이 다짐했습니다. 지국장 회의가 7일 있었습니다. 회의를 주재한 이영호 목사는 젊은 교회, 다음 세대를 키우는 교회가 되도록 각 부서가 지혜를 모으고 힘을 모아야 할 때라며 이를 위해 전력을 다하자고 당부했습니다. 이어진 교직원 연합예배에선 우리가 우선해야 할 것은 말씀과 기도라며 가장 중요한 것을 놓치지 말자고 전했습니다. 
코로나19 위기 극복을 위한 장애인 대교구 지원 사랑의 살라둠이 지난 4일 배단이 광장에서 있었습니다. 이용호 목사는 각자의 삶의 자리에서 열심히 기도하며 믿음의 승리를 이루는 성도들이 되자고 격려하고 현장에서 사랑의 쌀을 전했습니다. 이날 나눈 쌀은 10kg들이 1,100g입니다. 기독교대한 하나님의 성회는 7일 제69차 제1회 정기임원회와 정기실행위원회를 갖고 코로나 바이러스로 어려움을 겪고 있는 교단 산하 1,500개 임대교회와 농어촌 미자립 개척교회 임대료 등 4억 5천만 원을 지원 기로 결의했습니다. 지원금은 교회 성장 연구소와 협력해 미자립 교회의 온라인 예배 시스템 구축 등에 사용됩니다. 순복음 총회 신문 창간 27주년 기념 예배가 7일 있었습니다. 순복음 신문은 교단지로서 우리 교단과 교계 소식을 신속하고 정확하게 보도하며 사랑받고 있습니다. 이날 이영훈 목사는 순복음 신문이 더욱 업그레이드되어 한국교회 성령운동에 불을 붙이는 귀한 사명을 감당해달라고 전했습니다. 설교 후에는 이태근 총회장의 격려서와 정동균 총회장, 강영선 수석 부총회장의 축사가 있었습니다. 국제고호개발 NGO 구피플은 나눔 가게 캠페인을 전개하고 있습니다. 이 캠페인은 나눔에 동참하고자 하는 사업장이 매월 일정 금액을 도움이 필요한 이웃에게 후원하는 것으로 현재 여의도 소재 신미호 케어, 김산보 등 11곳의 소상공인들이 함께하고 있습니다. 또 구피플 신혜진 나눔대사가 운영하는 클럽 인너 호텔 리조트는 구피플과 함께 식수 부족으로 어려움을 겪는 아프리카 후원을 위한 모금 캠페인을 진행하고 있습니다. 사진이 들어간 체크카드 성도 등록증을 발급하고 있습니다. 발급을 원하는 성도들은 사진과 신분증, 성도 등록증, 국민은행 또는 우리은행의 통장 사본을 지참하고 소속 교구에 가서 발급 신청서를 작성하면 됩니다. 모바일 비대면 신청도 가능합니다. 재산위원회는 5일 방송국 재산 검열을 가졌습니다. 위원들은 방송국의 재산 증감 현황 등의 보고를 받은 후 팀별로 재산 관리 상태를 꼼꼼히 점검했습니다. 또 스튜디오 등 제작 현장도 둘러보며 우리 교회 방송 프로그램이 어떻게 만들어지는지 보고받았습니다. 이번 주 오산리 기도원에선 성령 충만을 위한 금식 기도 대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식 여기까지입니다. 날이 더워지면서 무더위로 마스크 착용을 소홀히 하는 경우가 있는데요. 나와 다른 사람의 건강을 위해 반드시 마스크 착용하셔야겠고요. 성전 입장과 퇴장 때에도 앞사람과 충분한 거리 두기 유지하시기 바랍니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다. a l l 야 7월 둘째 주일 사부 예배 나오신 성도 여러분들을 주님의 이름으로 환영합니다. 우리에게 보혈의 능력으로 거룩하게 하시고 우리 삶의 저주를 제하시고 영생과 천국을 주시는 하나님께 
경배와 찬양을 드립니다 고통의 멍에 벗으려고 예수께 올려드립니다. 우리 보류를 지하면서 주님을 찬양합니다. 내가 매일 기쁘게, 내가 매일 기쁘게 술래게 길 내가 미 주의 팔이 나를 안보하미요. 내가 주의 큰 복을 받는 참된 비결은 주의 영이 함께함이라. 성령이 계시네. 할렐루야 함께 하시네 좋은 길을 걸으며 만나 기뻐하는 것 주의 영이 함께 함이라 선의 죄에 빠져서 평안함이 없을 때 예수 십자 
십자가의 공로 이미로 그발 아래 엎드려 참된 평화 어둠 주의 영이 함께함이라 성경이 성경이 계시네 할렐루야 함께하시네 좁은 길을 걸으며 밤만 기뻐하는 것 주의 영이 함께함이라 나와 동행하시고 나와 동행하시고 모든 염려하시니 나는 숲의 새와 같이 기쁘다 내가 기쁜 마음으로 주의 뜻을 행하며 주의 영이 함께함이라 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 함께하시네 좋은 길을 걸으며 만나 기뻐하니 또 주의 영이 함께함이라 세상 모든 욕망과 나의 모든 정력을 십자가의 이미 못을 박았네 어느 밤이 지나고 무거운 짐 벗으니 주의 영이 함께함이라 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 함께하시네 좋은 길을 걸으며 만나 기뻐하는 것 한번 더 믿음으로 고백합니다 세상 모든 종목과 세상 모든 종목과 나의 모든 정력은 십자가의 힘이 못을 박았네 어느 밤이 지나고 무거운 짐 벗으니 주의 영이 함께함이 성령이 계시네 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 함께하시네 좋은 길을 걸으며 밤나 기뻐하는 곳 주의 영이 함께함이 구주의 십자가 구주의 십자가 보혈로 죄시선 받기를 원하네 죄를 씻으신 주인은 찬송합시다 할렐루야 찬송합시다 찬송합시다 내 죄를 씻으신 주인은 찬송합시다 그 주의 십자가 그 주의 십자가 보혈로 죄 씻은 받기를 원하네 죄를 씻으신 주인을 찬송합시다 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 내 죄를 씻으신 주인을 찬송합시다 죄악을 속하여 죄악을 속하여 주신 주내 속에 들어와 계시네 십자가 앞에서 주위를 찬송합시다 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 내 죄를 씻으신 주위를 찬송합시다 주 앞에 흐르는 생명수 날 씻어 정하게 하시네 정성을 다하여 찬송합시다 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 내 죄를 씻으신 주인을 찬송합시다 내 죽게 회개한 내 죽게 회개한 영원히 생명수 가운데 서정네 순전한 주인을 찬송합시다 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 내 죄를 씻으신 주인을 찬송합시다 변찮는 주님의 변찮는 주님의 사랑과 거룩한 모열의 공로를 우리 다 찬양해 주님을 만나볼 때까지 예수는 우리를 깨끗게 하시는 주시니 그의 피 우리를 눈보다 더이게 하셨네 우리를 깨끗게 엎히는 
Amen. 
오늘 보혈을 의지하며 주님 앞으로 나아갑니다 성령으로 충만하여 주시고 말씀 전하시는 원로 목사님에게 성령의 기름을 부어주옵소서 우리의 주여 삼창하시고 합심하여 기도합니다 주여 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 참 좋으신 하나님 아버지 오늘도 주님의 보혈을 의지합니다 예수님의 보혈을 의지합니다 보혈을 의지하여 십자가 앞으로 나아가기를 원하오니 성령 하나님 아버지 함께하여 주옵소서 보일의 능력을 나타내 주옵소서 예수님의 보일로 우리를 깨끗게 하여 주시고 우리를 새롭게 하셔서 주시고 하나님 성령으로 충만하여 주옵소서 말씀 연하시는 원로 목사님에게 성령의 기름을 부어 주옵소서 성령으로 충만하여 주옵소서 하나님의 하나님의 Good afternoon to all of our foreign guests worshiping with us. This is Sharon, your interpreter. We invite you to prepare your heart by taking a few minutes to pray now. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Amen. 
Please stand as we sing the opening hymn found on page one. Now we will recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sit on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Please turn in your hymn book to page 184.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who is the way and the truth and the life, and who created the heavens and the earth, and who governs history, today is the day where you allow your children from every corner of this country into your house to worship you with sincere hearts. We pray that you will pour down your big grace upon your children and we pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit to allow us to worship God with sincere hearts. As we live our lives in the world in the past one week, there are sins that we have committed knowingly and unknowingly. We put down all our sins before you today. We pray that you would take pity on us and by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, may we read be redeemed from our sins. Heavenly Father, who was always with our country and our people, we pray all sectors in our society, such as society, defense, and economy, and politics are facing difficulties. We pray that you will bring stability in this country, and may our country continue to grow and develop in the midst of your grace. Heavenly Father, we pray that diseases like COVID-19 will completely disappear from this earth and may your light of healing shine upon us. And may our country become healthy and may we have peaceful dem democracy in place. And may our church continue to grow by giving you thanks. Heavenly Father, Yonggi, Pastor Yonggi Cho, who you have called as your servant, will be preaching your word. May the anointing of the Holy Spirit be upon him. And may he receive your power to preach your word. May As he preaches your word, may he preach the word of love, truth, and life. And may this word be sowed in our hearts so that we will glorify your name. Heavenly Father, there are problems that we have. We pray that all our problems will be solved. And may the sick be healed at this time. And may those who are imprisoned be freed and may we all receive freedom and liberation heavenly father we are very thankful for those who are helping us with this worship service we pray that you will pour down your blessings upon them and may this worship service be guided by your presence and in jesus name we pray amen we welcome all of our foreign guests to Yoido Full Gospel Church. This is Sharon bringing you a simultaneous interpretation of the service so you may be able to join us for worship. The scripture reading for today is found in Hebrews chapter 9, verses 22 to 26. Now let us read Hebrews chapter 9, verses 22 to 26. In fact, the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. It was necessary then for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with these sacrifices, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ did not enter a man-made sanctuary that was only a copy of the true one. He entered heaven itself, now to appear for us in God's presence. 
nor did he enter heaven to offer himself again and again. The way the high priest enters the most holy place every year with blood that is not his own, then Christ would have had to suffer many times since the creation of the world, but now he has appeared once for all at the end of the ages to do away with sin by the sacrifice of himself. Amen. You may now take off your headphones and enjoy listening to the choir music.
The shedding of blood and sin are inextricably linked. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death and that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. Therefore, in order for us to receive forgiveness of sins, there must be the shedding of blood. If you look in the Bible, before Adam committed sin, there was no death in the Garden of Eden. By committed, committing sin, Adam was naked and his spirit died. To cover his shame of sin, God caught animals and shed its blood. God made garments of skin and clothed Adam. God made garments of skin and clothed Adam. to show that solving the problem of sin requires the shedding of blood. Those who commit sins must pay the price to gain freedom. If someone is sentenced to 50 years in prison, he has to stay in prison for 50 years. If someone is sentenced to life in prison, he has to stay in prison for his whole life. All human beings weren't just sentenced to life in prison, they received a death sentence. This is because the wages of sin is death. Thus, human beings can't pay for their sin. Some religions claim that forgiveness of sins can be received with men's deeds or efforts, but this is absurd with men's deeds or efforts, the forgiveness of sins can never be given. Even if someone does good deeds, those good deeds can cover his sin. In addition, some religions try to receive forgiveness of sins by carrying out religious rituals, but this is also absurd. The forgiveness of sins can never be received with religious rituals because without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. Without the sacrifice of blood that brings the redemption of sin, there can be no forgiveness of sins. When you look in the Old Testament, God has granted grace for His people to go before Him through sacrifice. If people go before God with sin, they can't avoid death. Thus, in order to go before God, the problem of sin must be solved. The wages of sin is death. So to receive forgiveness of sins, people had to die. But this can happen. So they caught sheep or cows and gave sacrifice with their blood. In the era of the Old Testament, various sacrifices were given to receive forgiveness of sins. First, there was sin offering. Sin offering was given to redeem from every sin with the blood of animals to receive forgiveness of sins that were committed before God. When a person has disobeyed the will of God, he had to give sin offering. Otherwise, he would be abandoned by God and receive judgment. Next is guilt offering. Guilt offering was given when a person has committed a violation and sins unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things 
or had brought damage upon neighbors. It was an offering given to take away sins that were committed in interpersonal relationships. When guilt offering was given, people had to pay for the damage that they had caused to their neighbors with materials. Next is fellowship offering. It was an offering of thanksgiving and delight for forming a harmonious relationship with God through sin offering and guilt offering. When this offering was given, people caught animals and gave some of them to God while the rest were shared and eaten with people. People caught animals and gave some of them to God. While the rest were shared and eaten with people, people gave thanks to God and were delighted. If you look at these sacrifices in the Old Testament, people caught animals and gave sacrifices with their blood. Likewise, since Adam and Eve committed sin, sins were washed away with blood and were covered with blood. However, with the sacrifice that involves catching animals and shedding blood, the problem of sin of men can't be solved completely. The Bible says, but those sacrifices are an annual reminder of sins because it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. The redemption of sin with the blood of animals is temporary. To completely wash away sins of men, a person without sin needs to die, not animals. People born as the descendants of Adam are all sinners. So God sent his son and Jesus without sin died on the cross on behalf of us. Today, many Christians don't know what kind of power there is in the precious blood of the cross of Jesus and live their lives. If we know the power of the precious blood of Jesus and rely on the power of the precious blood, we can live a victorious life every day. First, by relying on the precious blood of the cross of Jesus Christ, we gain justification. The Bible says, and are justified freely by His grace, through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. What does it mean to be justified? Many Christians hear about how they were justified by faith, but they don't clearly know how amazing this grace is. Being justified means that when God looks at you, he recognizes you as a person who has never committed sin in lifetime. Being justified means that God will give you a qualification to stand before Him without shame. Being justified means that the devil won't be able to slander us. How amazing is this grace! With men's deeds, this kind of justification can never be earned. But if we rely on the precious blood of Jesus Christ, God gives us this kind of justification. This justification is not given without a price. In order for us to be justified by faith and to be saved, Jesus, who is the Son of God, had to become an offering on the cross. Every sin is forgiven with blood by giving the offering that corresponds to sin. Thus, without the shedding of blood of Jesus, God can grant the grace of salvation. When God forgives us, He doesn't just turn a blind eye to sin. What if a judge turns a blind eye to a person who has committed sin because he is part of his family. He would probably face social criticism that he is not qualified to be a judge and that he needs to step down. Likewise, because God is a just judge, he can't just turn a blind eye to our sins. To redeem us from our sins, he had paid the price of our sins by having his son to die on a tree. 
Isn't this such an amazing grace? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Thus, if people believe in Jesus, they will receive forgiveness of sins and become God's children, and they will be able to boldly go before God. Because of God's command, I went to various places in Japan and led conferences. I went to big and small and medium-sized cities and preached the gospel. There was an inspirational incident that I still remember. I went to Gobe and preached the gospel. And the head of Yakuza attended my conference. He was a rough guy and had strong fist. And I heard that he came to the conference to hinder the conference. There weren't many conferences in Japan. A few hundred of people would gather, and approximately 200 people came to the conference. Because of the head of Yakuza came, the atmosphere was different. So I thought in my heart that this conference might get messed up. What if this Yakuza stands up in the middle of my sermon, starts yelling, and throw a fist? So I earnestly prayed and preached the gospel. This head of Yakuza crossed his arms and stood arrogantly. Then in the middle of my sermon, he uncrossed his arms. Then he put his head down. After I preached my sermon, I said, those who need to repent of their sins, come forward. And the leader of Yakuza came forward. And I couldn't believe that this was happening. I couldn't tell if this was really happening. And when I looked at him, walking up to the podium, he was crying. He repented of his sins and accepted Jesus. He came to where I was staying at night. He shed tears and said, Pastor, what kind of person are you? I cut off people's fingers. And this doesn't impact me. I came to your conference to hinder everything. But the word of God stabbed my heart. And I can't bear it. A person like me in the Yakuza world without tears is crying. I'm still crying right now. What kind of spell do you have? And I said, I have no spell. It is the love of Jesus. Jesus loved you that he was nailed on the cross. He shed his blood. And the Holy Spirit has worked. And he said, can a person like me believe in Jesus? Including my lawful wife. I have six wives. How can a person like me believe in Jesus? And I said, live with your lawful wife and free your other five wives. And he said, I have to make money and feed them. So how can I do that? And I said, give house to them and confess that you got to believe in Jesus guide them to Jesus and commit everything to the Lord, then the Lord will take care of them. So he sent away his five wives and he believed in the power of the precious blood of Jesus Christ and was changed. And he came along with me to every conference in Japan and he went to a seminary and became a pastor later on. Jesus became our sacrifice. So if people believe in the power of the precious, of precious blood of Jesus Christ, they can be saved. How 
Jesus gave himself as an offering is not a temporary offering because eternal God came as a human being. Giving his body was eternal offering. The Bible says, day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties again and again. He offers them same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. Since that time, he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool, because by one sacrifice he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. Thus the cross of Jesus is effective today. Because one sacrifice has made us complete eternally, our sins of the past, present, and future were all taken away. And we can rely on the precious blood of Jesus every day. Without the redemptive grace of Jesus Christ, we would not have hope. The Bible says, Just as man is destined to die once, and after that to face judgment. If there was no redemptive grace of Jesus, we would have received God's judgment and we would have fallen into eternal pain, burning in fire and sulfur. Today we have hope because Jesus is there. Even if the winds blow, heavily rain falls, landslides and floods come in our life, we have hope because Jesus is there. With the precious blood of Jesus, you are justified. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. Thus, even if the whole world abandoned us, abandons us, we are not abandoned. We are hard pressed on every side but not crushed, persecuted but not abandoned. The Holy Spirit sent by God is protecting us 24 hours. So we must be truly thankful for how we got to believe in Jesus. What do we do good for God to choose us as his children generations ago and gave us eternal life? Everything is entirely the grace of God. We who have received God's grace must give our life and give thanks to God and praise the Lord. No matter what kind of situations you face, you must not forget the benefits that God has granted and give thanks to Him and praise Him. You must enjoy these benefits and preach Jesus to those around you. I bless you for this to happen. Second, if we rely on the precious blood of Jesus, we can receive healing of diseases. On behalf of us, Jesus died on the cross and his body was torn and he shed his blood. This redeemed us from our sins. This also heals our diseases. Isaiah 53, 5 says, But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds we are healed. Thus, if we rely on the precious blood of Jesus, we can be free from various diseases that came into our life due to sin. There is an elder from our church who conquer various diseases by relying on the precious blood of Jesus Christ. She suffered arthritis that her her legs were rot. She heard the news that her disease disease can be healed at her church. She couldn't walk and she couldn't urinate well, but she was completely healed by receiving my prayer. She was healed from kidney diseases, diabetes, kidney problems. She was in a situation where her toes 
and ankles had to be amputated, but by relying on the precious blood of Jesus, she overcame that crisis. She was hit severely by a thief, so her lung was severely damaged. Her ribs were broken. Her intestines were damaged. She was severely wounded. Her doctor said that she needs to prepare for her death, but she didn't give up until the end, and she prayed to God. God listened to her prayer and healed her. When she was 80 years old, due to infection of her kidneys, her toes and ankles were rot. She listened to my sermon on TV, and during the time of divine healing, I said, there is a sister who is healed from her toe and ankle diseases. Today, God has healed her. And when I made that declaration, she said, Amen. And when she took off her socks, she witnessed that her feet were completely healed. She was weak her entire life. When diseases came into her life, she defeated her diseases by the power of the precious blood of Jesus. I was also weak during my lifetime. I was healed from lung diseases. My lungs were weak. My heart was weak. I went around the world and preached the gospel and faced many hardships. But I claim about the precious blood of Jesus and rely on the precious blood of Jesus. And today, I'm standing here before you and preaching the word. By the wounds of Jesus, Jesus has given us healing. So diseases are unlawful. Therefore, we should not compromise with diseases and conquer diseases. Third, if we rely on the precious blood of Jesus, we can boldly go before the throne of God and ask for God's help. The Bible says, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet was without sin. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Jesus, who died on the cross, was resurrected and was ascended to heaven. He is now sitting at the right hand of the throne of God. As a high priest, Jesus redeems us from our sins so we can rely on the precious blood of Jesus and boldly go before God. For us to go before God today is a great privilege when we didn't believe in Jesus. We couldn't go before God. But now, we can rely on the precious blood of Jesus, boldly go before God, and ask for grace to help us in our time of need. Thus, not all people can pray. It is an amazing privilege that we can enjoy as God's children. We must learn the way to live by relying on the precious relying on the power of the precious blood of Jesus Christ today and tomorrow Jesus has delivered us from sin with his precious blood he has allowed us to live a life of holiness and the fullness of the Holy Spirit with this precious blood in addition the precious blood that Jesus shed on the cross heals our diseases breaks curses in life, and gives us eternal life in heaven. Therefore, we must always rely on the precious blood of Jesus. If we rely on the precious blood of Jesus and pray, we will receive healing in spirit and flesh and receive answers to what we need. Hallelujah. Let us sing a hymn together.
odsredie. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. The devil leave our enemy devil. I will sing the praise of hallelujah and I will call out the Lord's name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Every disease leave, our enemy devil leave. Do not leave your traces in this world. Leave at this moment. Be healthy right now. Be robust at this moment. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now let us give precious offerings that we have prepared. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who is rich in love and mercy, we give you thanks for allowing us this good day and to receive your grace through the pastor's sermon. We give you thanks for giving us this time to think about your grace because we're thankful for the grace received. We're giving our offerings to you. Help us to give our offerings with thankful and joyful hearts. We pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On Sunday, English interpretation is provided for the following worship service, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. On Wednesday, English interpretation is provided for the service at 10.30 a.m. On Friday, English interpretation is provided for our all-night prayer meeting from 8.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. We also have an English worship service at 9 and 11 a.m. in the CCMM building in the Grace Hall on the 11th floor. We have an English Friday night worship service at 8.30 p.m. in the CCMM building in the Grace Hall on the 11th floor.
매일 저녁 9시 코로나19 정식과 2단 신천지 해체를 위해 기도해 주시기 바랍니다. 코로나19 감염 확산 방지를 위해 성도 등록증을 집참하고 마스크를 착용하여 주시고 예배 후에는 안내 따라 순서대로 퇴장해 주시기 바랍니다. 7월 24일 금요 성령 대망에는 실업인 헌신 예배로 진행됩니다. 재직 및 봉사자를 위한 특별 새벽 기도에 교제 이용은 목사님의 신간 예수님의 리더십이 출간되었습니다. 기아성 순복음 신학원 및 총회 목회대학원 2020학년도 가을학기 신편입생을 모집합니다. 성도님들께서는 주차 시 반드시 공휴일 주정차 가는 구간 또한 한강 둔치 주차장이나 국회 둔치 주차장을 이용하시기 바랍니다. 결신한 분들을 위한 새가족 환영회가 코로나19로 인해 온라인으로 진행 중입니다. 
now, may the infinite grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of our Father God, and the indwelling fellowship and guidance of the Holy Spirit be with you and of your family members abundantly. Amen. As your interpreter, it has been a pleasure to help you on this Sunday service. May God be with you and bless you until we meet again.
여러분, 주니원에서 편안하셨습니까? 7월 둘째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 4일 이영호 목사를 강사로 지구역장 세미나를 갖고 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 믿음으로 영적 재충전을 새롭게 했는데요. 첫 소식 심지혜 리포터가 전해드립니다. 영적 부흥의 주인공이 되자를 주제로 열린 이번 세미나는 코로나19 사태로 전면 중단된 소그룹 모임의 리더들이 감염증 종식 이후를 준비할 수 있도록 마련된 시간입니다. 1, 2부로 나뉘어 열린 이날 행사는 세미나와 헌신 예배로 진행됐습니다. 이영훈 목사는 지구역장들의 영적 재무장을 주문했고 동시에 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 충성을 당부했습니다. 지구역장님들은 절대 긍정으로 무장해서 교회에 대해서는 절대 긍정, 절대 감사로 충성해야 될 것입니다. 단한 번도 하나님은 믿음이 없는 사람, 부정적인 사람, 원망 불평한 사람과 함께 일한 적이 없고 믿음의 사람들하고 일하셨기 때문에 절대 긍정의 믿음은 주님 일꾼의 근본적인 자세입니다. 또 대교구와 지성전을 호명하며 참석자들을 격려했습니다. 참석자들은 각자가 이끌고 있는 지구역원을 위해 기도했고 스스로의 영적 회복을 위해 마음 모아 기도했습니다. 이날 세미나에선 설문조사를 통해 우리 교회 지구역장의 연령과 성별, 예배 참석률, 봉사 연수 등을 확인했고 또 교구장과 교회에 대한 건의사항 등도 받았습니다. 이어진 이분은 지구역장 헌신 예배로 드렸습니다. 연이어 강단에선 이영훈 목사는 성령 충만과 말씀 충만의 삶을 강조하며 성숙한 그리스도인의 열매인 긍정과 감사의 언어 생활을 당부했습니다. 우리가 입을 열어서 남을 판단하고 남을 비방하면 하나님 앞에 죄를 짓는 것입니다. 지금까지 우리가 잘 모르고 습관적으로 그런 삶을 살았던 부분이 있지만 이제 이 시간 이후로는 완전히 우리가 입에 재간을 물려서 덕스러운 말만 하고 남을 살리고 칭찬하고 치료하고 용서하고 회복시키는 말만 하고 하나님 옆에 영광 드리고 덕을 끼치는 여러분 되기를 주님으로 축원합니다 말씀에 이어 참석자들은 간절히 기도하며 맡은 바 사명에 온전히 헌신하는 지구역장들이 될 것을 다짐했습니다. 믿음 안에서 표대를 향한 경주에 돌입한 우리 교회 모든 지구역의 부흥을 응원합니다. FSTV 뉴스 심지입니다 이영우 목사는 이일 국민일보가 마련한 특별 대담에 함께했습니다. 대담은 주한장로교회 주승종 목사의 사회로 진행됐습니다. 계속해서 심지혜 리포터입니다. 국민일보가 마련한 이날 대담은 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국교회 어떻게 세울 것인가를 주제로 진행됐습니다. 코로나 바이러스는 전 세계의 이동을 제한시키고 예배 또한 비대면 온라인 예배로 바꿔놓는 등 한국교회의 큰 숙제를 안겼습니다. 주승중 목사는 지난 5개월간 지속한 온라인 예배가 가져온 예배자의 수동적 태도와 매너리즘에 대한 경계로 대담을 시작했습니다. 이에 대해 이영훈 목사는 교회가 교회다움의 본질을 회복한다면 위기는 기회가 될수 있다고 말했습니다. 온라인, 오프라인으로 가고 있는데 이럴 때 이제 첫째로 중요한 것은 우리가 어떻게 성도들이 예배에 대한 자세를 가져야 될 것인가. 어디서 예배를 드려도 한 앞에 진실되게 예배를 드려야 되는 그러한 그 예배의 본질적인 문제를 다시 한번 깨우쳐야 되는 필요성이 있는데 그것이 어떻게 교회마다 이 부분을 이제 성도들의 삶에 적용시켜 나가느냐 라는 생각을 먼저 해봅니다. 그리고 이를 위한 시작으로 가정예배의 회복을 제안했습니다. 이번 기회에 가정이 살아나고 예배가 살아나는 방향으로 가정예배를 복원하는 것이 어떻게 했는가 하는 제안을 해봅니다. 그래서. 또 교회와 성도들이 스스로를 성찰하며 예배 현장의 변화와 선한 영향력을 끼치는 모습으로 변화하자고 주문했습니다. 예배 전체가 한 시간 얼마 짧은 시간이지만 처음 찬양부터 시작해서 끝날 때까지 감동 속에 드려지는 예배, 성령의 그 역사심이 넘쳐나는 예배로 예배 현장이 바뀌어진다면 음 사실 우리 1907년 그 평양 장대원교회 대풍 운동을 기억합니다마는 일단 그런 부흥의 역사를 다시 재현할 수 있는 계기를 마련할 수 있지 않겠는가. 정말 모일 때는 정말 강한 성령의 임지를 체험하고 어떤 사람은 사회 속에 변화를 가져오는 선한 영향을 끼치는 그러한 모습으로 바뀌어지지 않겠나 그런 생각을 해봅니다. 
끝으로 이영훈 목사는 성령의 열매 맺는 성숙한 그리스도인의 삶을 당부하는 것으로 이날 대담을 마무리했습니다. 성령의 역사가 그동안 너무나 이 매니페스테이션, 은사적으로 가 있었는데 이제는 그러한 시대에서 성령의 열매 쪽으로 가서 보이는 것이 아니라 실천되어져서 삶을 진짜로 바꾸는, 삶 현장에서 바꿔놓는 그런 모습이 필요하지 않겠는가. 코로나19 사태가 장기화될 때 오히려 지금이야말로 한국교회가 그냥 확 퍼져 들어가서 사회 속에 퍼져 들어가서 소외된 계층을 섬기는 일, 지금이야말로 그들 가서 섬기는 것이 그게 예배가 아니냐 생각합니다. 이영훈 목사와 주승중 목사의 이날 특별 대담은 7일자 국민일보 전면에 게재돼 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국 교회의 방향성을 제시했습니다. FSB 뉴스 심재입니다 우산리 최자실 기념 금식 기도원 초입에 세워진 예루살렘과 실로암 성전이 코로나 바이러스에 지친 한국 교회 성도들의 영적 재충전과 쉼을 위한 장소로 기대를 모으고 있습니다. 김선태 리포터가 보도합니다. 은혜와 기적의 동산으로 불리는 오산리 최자실 기념 금식 기도원은 1973년 설립돼 한국교회 기도운동과 성령운동을 견인하며 응답의 주님을 만나는 곳으로 유명합니다. 매년 교파를 추월해 많은 성도들이 찾는 기독 명소로 또 영적 재충전을 위한 기도의 자리로 각광받고 있습니다. 아시아 성도 방한성회 등 외국인 성도들의 방문도 이어지며 꾸준히 해외의 기독인들로부터도 사랑받고 있습니다. 기도원 초입에 자리한 기존 실로암 성전을 헐고 그 자리에 연면적 659평, 지상 3층 규모의 새 성전을 건축했습니다. 1층은 650명이 예배할 수 있는 규모로 실로암 성전으로 명명됐고 2, 3층은 복층 구조로 1,000명이 동시에 예배할 수 있는 대성전으로 예루살렘 성전으로 이름 붙였습니다. 모임의 규모에 따라 성전을 선택해 예배할 수 있습니다. 신축 성전은 2017년 11월 착공 후 설계 변경 등의 변수로 1년여간 공사가 유보됐다가 2018년 11월 재개돼 2020년 6월 중공 감사 예배를 드릴 수 있었습니다. 이영훈 목사는 기도원에 올라가 기도할 때마다 공사 현장을 방문해 상황을 점검하고 안전한 시공과 성도들의 예배 편의에 최선을 다해달라고 당부했습니다. 신축 성전은 자연 채광을 극대화한 밝고 쾌적한 디자인을 채택해 예배는 물론 세미나와 음악회 등 다양한 교회 행사를 소화할 것으로 기대됩니다. 성전의 외형 또한 아름답고 세련돼 기도원의 이미지 쇄신에도 기여할 것으로 보입니다. 우리 성도님들 기도원에 많이 오셔서 함께 기도해서 이 한국 교계의 역사를 바꾸는 그 일에 동참해 주시길 바랍니다. 26일 중공 예배에서 이영훈 목사는 참석자 모두를 향해 강력한 기도가 회복될 것을 당부했습니다. 기도 회복되어야 됩니다. 강력한 기도가 회복되어야 됩니다. 내가 살고, 가정이 살고, 교회가 살고, 대한민국에 사는 길은 기도밖에 없다는 것을 잊지 말게 되기를 바랍니다. 벽돌 한 장이라도 올리겠다는 마음으로 많은 성도들이 각자의 옥합을 깨뜨려 함께 건립한 새성전을 통해 오산리 기도원이 갖고 있는 기도응답의 산실이라는 명성이 계속되길 기대해봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 6월 마지막 주에는 고등교구 현장 예배가 재개됐죠. 7월 첫째 주에는 아우들인 중등교구의 현장 예배가 다시 시작됐습니다. 자세한 소식 성지연 리포터가 전해드립니다. 3월 첫 주부터 코로나 바이러스로 인해 중단된 중등교구의 현장 예배가 19주 만에 다시 시작됐습니다. 학생들은 성전 입장에 앞서 고등교구에서 그랬던 것처럼 체온을 측정했고 또 학생 건강 상태에 대한 자가진단 문진을 작성 후 자석표를 배정받아 입장했습니다. 성전 안은 지정된 자석에만 학생들을 앉혀 거리 두기를 유지했습니다. 이날 중등교구는 학생 간 접촉을 최소화하기 위해 같은 층에 위치한 길마을과 진리마을은 예배 시간을 달리했습니다. 이에 따라 오전 9시에는 길마을과 생명마을이 예배했고 11시에는 진리마을이 예배하도록 했습니다. 중등 예배를 위해서 우리가 열 체크도 하고 거리 두면서 어, 그리고 자석도 거리를 두면서 준비했습니다. 우리 많은 친구들이 같이 함께 예배를 같이 드렸으면 좋겠습니다. 오랜만에 재개된 예배는 코로나 바이러스의 감염이 줄지 않아 교사들이 직접 회중 찬양을 인도했고 
또 학생 찬양대도 세우지 않았습니다. 학생들은 교회에 나와 친구들을 만나는 것만으로도 행복해 했습니다. 아, 이제 교회학교 오랜만에 나오니까 이제 다시 만난 친구들도 얼굴 다시 보니까 너무 좋은 것 같고 선생님들도 함께 만나니까 정말 좋은 것 같습니다. 온라인으로 예배드리는 점이 불편한 것도 있었고 그리고 오니까 편한, 편해서 좋고 그리고 친구들이랑 만나서 좀 좋은 것 같아요. 코로나 바이러스라는 큰 도전 앞에도 교회에 나온 중등교구 학생들의 환한 얼굴을 보며 신앙 전승의 위대함을 생각해 봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 성지연입니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 7월 재직과 봉사자를 위한 특별 새벽 기도회가 9일부터 4일간 예수님의 리더십을 주제로 진행됐습니다. 이영호 목사는 겸손과 온유, 순종의 리더십을 주제로 설교했고 참석자들은 말씀을 숙고하며 교회가 교회다움을 회복할 수 있도록 겸손과 온유, 순종을 마음 깊이 다짐했습니다. 지국장 회의가 7일 있었습니다. 회의를 주재한 이영훈 목사는 젊은 교회, 다음 세대를 키우는 교회가 되도록 각 부서가 지혜를 모으고 힘을 모아야 할 때라며 이를 위해 전력을 다하자고 당부했습니다. 이어진 교직원 연합 예배에선 우리가 우선해야 할 것은 말씀과 기도라며 가장 중요한 것을 놓치지 말자고 전했습니다. 코로나19 위기 극복을 위한 장애인 대교구 지원 사랑의 살라눔이 지난 4일 배단이 광장에서 있었습니다. 이용호 목사는 각자의 삶의 자리에서 열심히 기도하며 믿음의 승리를 이루는 성도들이 되자고 격려하고 현장에서 사랑의 쌀을 전했습니다. 이날 나눈 쌀은 10kg들이 1,100g입니다. 기독교 대한 하나님의 성회는 7일 제69차 제1회 정기임원회와 정기실행위원회를 갖고 코로나 바이러스로 어려움을 겪고 있는 교단 산하 1,500개 임대교회와 농어촌 미자립 개척교회의 임대료 등 4억 5천만 원을 지원기로 결의했습니다. 지원금은 교회성장연구소와 협력해 미자립교회의 온라인 예배 시스템 구축 등에 사용됩니다. 순복음 총회 신문 창간 27주년 기념 예배가 7일 있었습니다. 순복음 신문은 교단지로서 우리 교단과 교계 소식을 신속하고 정확하게 보도하며 사랑받고 있습니다. 이날 이영훈 목사는 순복음 신문이 더욱 업그레이드되어 한국교회 성령운동에 불을 붙이는 귀한 사명을 감당해달라고 전했습니다. 설교 후에는 이태근 총회장의 격려사와 정동균 총회장, 강영선 수석부총회장의 축사가 있었습니다. 국제고호개발 NGO 구피플은 나눔 가게 캠페인을 전개하고 있습니다. 이 캠페인은 나눔에 동참하고자 하는 사업장이 매월 일정 금액을 도움이 필요한 이웃에게 후원하는 것으로 현재 여의도 소재 신미호 케어, 김산보 등 11곳의 소상공인들이 함께하고 있습니다. 또 구피플 신혜진 나눔대사가 운영하는 클럽 인너 호텔 리조트는 구피플과 함께 식수 부족으로 어려움을 겪는 아프리카 후원을 위한 모금 캠페인을 진행하고 있습니다. 사진이 들어간 체크카드 성도 등록증을 발급하고 있습니다. 발급을 원하는 성도들은 사진과 신분증, 성도 등록증, 국민은행 또는 우리은행의 통장 사본에 지참하고 소속 교구에 가서 발급 신청서를 작성하면 됩니다. 모바일 비대면 신청도 가능합니다. 재산위원회는 5일 방송국 재산 검열을 가졌습니다. 위원들은 방송국의 재산 증감 현황 등의 보고를 받은 후 팀별로 재산 관리 상태를 꼼꼼히 점검했습니다. 또 스튜디오 등 제작 현장도 둘러보며 우리 교회 방송 프로그램이 어떻게 만들어지는지 보고받았습니다. 이번 주 오산리 기도원에선 성령 충만을 위한 금식 기도 대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식 여기까지입니다. 날이 더워지면서 무더위로 마스크 착용을 소홀히 하는 경우가 있는데요. 나와 다른 사람의 건강을 위해 반드시 마스크 착용하셔야겠고요. 성전 입장과 퇴장 때에도 앞사람과 충분한 거리 두기 유지하시기 바랍니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다.
할렐루야. 네. 할렐루야. 여러분. 할렐루야 할렐루야 여의도 순봉교회 오브앱에 나오신 성도님들을 주님의 이름으로 사랑하고 축복합니다 우리를 위해 십자가에서 죽으시고 부활하신 예수님께서 오늘 우리가 모인 이 자리 가운데 함께 계심을 믿으십니까? 믿으십니까? 믿으시는 분들 우리 신앙을 주님께 고백하며 나아가도록 하겠습니다 전능하사 천지를 만드신 하나님 아버지를 내가 믿사오며 그 외아들 우리 주 예수 그리스도를 믿사오니 이는 성령으로 잉태하사 동정녀 마리아에게 나시고 본디오 빌라도에게 고난을 받으사 십자가에 I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into hell, heaven and seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let's give our hands to God.
전에 죄에 빠져서 전에 죄에 빠져서 평안함이 없을 때 예수 십자가의 공로님이어 그발 아래 엎드려 상된 평화 거리는 주의 영이 성령이 계시네 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 여러분 기쁘십니까? 기쁘다 내가 기쁜 마음으로 주의 뜻을 내가는 주의 영이 함께 함이라 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 성령이 계시네 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 
계시네 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 함께 하시 성령이 계십니다 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 함께 하시네 좁은 길을 걸으며 만날 기뻐하는 것 다시 한번 선포합니다 성령이 계시네 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 함께 하시네 성령이 계시네 성령이 계시네 할렐루야 함께 하시네 좁은 길을 걸으며 만나 기뻐하는 것 주의 영이 내 영혼의 햇빛 빛이 주 영광 찬란해 이 세상 어떤 빛보다 이 빛도 빛나네 주의 영광 빛난 광채 내게 비춰주시옵소서 인사하겠습니다. 예수님이 우리의 기쁨의 이유가 되십니다. 전능의 주 얼굴, 전능의 주 얼굴 구하며 이땅 위에 주께 기도할 때. 다시 한번 우리 찬양하겠습니다 전능의 주 얼굴 전능의 주 얼굴 구하며 이땅 위해 이땅 위해 주께 기도할 때 무흥의 불을 주소서 모든 영혼 주를 알게 되리 주의 이름 높이 하늘 향해 기도할 때이 땅을 고치소서 능력 
우리 생명 할 때까지 우리 생명 다할 때까지 주님만 바라봅니다 주만 바라보며 달려가리 눈물로 씹뿌린 후에 기쁨으로 기쁨으로 다를 거두리라 그 능력의 이름 주 예수 주의 이름 높이리 하늘 향해 기도할 때이 땅을 멋지소서 능력의 이름 주 예수 주의 이름 높이 이땅 위에 이땅 위에 이땅 위에 이땅 위에 이땅 위에 이땅 위에 세를 향하신 주님 우리의 찬양을 받아 주시옵소서 우리 주 안에서 우리 주 안에서 노래하며 주의 이름 찬양해 감사로 그분에 들어가 주 이름 성주하네 진실한 찬양 외치세 할렐루야 손뼉 쉬며 살리내신 주께 높이 계신 주님께 우리 여기 모인 이유 우리 맘 모아 주님을 높이는 것 높이 계신 주님께 우리 여기 모인 이유 우리 맘 모아 주님을 지세 할렐루야 속벽 지며 능하신 주께 높이 계신 주님께 우리 여기 모인 이유 우리 맘 모아 주님을 높이는 것 높이 계신 주님께 우리 여기 모인 이유 우리 맘 모아 주님을 높이는 것 
즐거운 소리로 하나님께 영광을 드립니다 새해를 향하여 주시옵소서 할렐루야 우리 다시 한번 절배 큰 영화의 박수를 드립니다 
가정 가운데 이 나라 민족 가운데 마침내 주 오셔서 그의 비추기 우리 위에 부시도록 하늘 문이 열리고 하늘 문이 열리고 그의 비추기 이땅 가득 내리도록 마침내 주 오셔서 그의 위축이 우리 위에 부시도록 주님 우리 오백 가운데 하늘 문을 활짝 열어주셔서 주님의 은혜의 단비를 부어주시옵소서 의의 단비를 부어주시옵소서 오늘 말씀이 선포될 때 우리 삶이 변화하게 도와주시고 이 나라 민족이 새롭게 되는 놀라운 역사가 일어나게 해달라고 우리 주님의 성호 세번 부르시고 통성으로 기도하겠습니다 주여! 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 오 할렐루야 하나님 오늘 이 시간 하늘 문을 활짝 열어주시옵소서 이 나라 민족을 위하여 이 땅을 위하여 간절하게 기도합니다 주 예수 그리스 이름을 선포하며 기도하며 주님 오늘 이 시간 우리가 함께 기도하는 이 자리 가운데 하나님 오늘 내 담배를 부어주시옵소서 의의 문을 부어주시옵소서 주여 Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to come to your presence. May you open the eye, our spiritual eyes that we will be able to see you, that we will be enjoy your presence today. You have saved us from 
uh, the many worldliness and sins, yet we still lived, committed a lot of sin in our life. So may you forgive us and have mercy on us, and may you eradicate COVID-19 that our, rest our lives will be restored back to normal, that even our worship is restored, that all of us will be able to worship you freely, Lord. You are the author of our life, and then you lead the 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 economy and the, the 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 politics and may your justice be done on this land and especially we pray for the young adult people may they have the dreams that the, you you give them May you give them vision that they will continue to pursue their dreams and fulfill it for your will. That they will be able to be used for the expansion of your kingdom. We also pray for the pastors, emeritus, both emeritus pastor and the senior pastor. May you strengthen them both physically and spiritually so that whatever they deliver your words and your kingdom will be established and there will be many lives that, that will be saved. We also pray for uh, Pastor Kong, the new director, as he's delivering your words. May you put your own warnings on his mouth that whoever hears it will, will know your authorities, that will be able to receive that authority and then, and then preach to other people and that will, will be the solution to the people who have problems that will be the the healing to the sick and if whoever are that are joining us with online may you be with them with the same blessings and we also pray for the choir and then everyone who who are serving this service lord may you bless them lord bless their lives we pray that you will receive our service today we pray all this in G in jesus name amen The scripture for today is found James 5, 13 through 16. Let's read it all together. If any one of you in trouble, he should pray. Is anyone happy? Let him sing songs of praise. Is any one of you sick? He should call the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. If he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Amen.
Thank you for the song that Emmanuel Choir sang. Repeat after me. A church that is together. A church that is together. When you're sick, do you go do you go to see the doctor first or pastor first? In my ministry life, if someone calls me calls me that the person's sick, I have never told them wait for me and don't go to the hospital yet. Go to the hospital after I pray. I, I never say that to them because I'm not sure whether they will be healed after my prayer. Probably I don't have the gift of healing. And especially when my kid is sick, when my kid has fever, I, I, I've been trying to uh, find the medicine first, but I, I, have, I don't think I have any, there's been any occasion that I pray for him first. But the, I think there is a misconception of about the gift of healing and some people think gift of healing is like the magic wand that God has given them so that whenever they pray for somebody they will be healed or something but gift of healing is not like that some people think whenever they pray and then whenever they they lay their hand on it and they pray they'll be healed but it's not like that when a christians are praying for somebody it is the holy spirit who heals the sickness but through the prayer of the person so gift of healing is not like the the magic wand and there's this guy this pastor in korea called Park Tae-son. he he thought he had the gift of healing so he believed that whenever he laid his hand on on somebody and then pray for that person who will be healed so he became very proud because he had he thought he had this like special supernatural power so that whenever he prays but later on god took that gift of healing from him and later on he realized he didn't have it and he 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 just tried to make it up and then try to put a show and then try to fake it. I don't deny the effect of medicine because God has given us medicine. God has enable the man to invent medicines and all that so that we can take them so that that's something that will benefit us but the the reason why bible still tells us to pray is is because god Wants, wants us to have faith that God is the ultimate healer. God heals. And the verse 14 says this, is, is anyone of you sick? He should call the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. Here the elders are called um, the pastors. But if you misunderstand this, uh, misunderstand this verse, you shouldn't call a pastor like me who doesn't have the gift of healing, but should call a pastor who should have the gift of healing. But the Bible never says, oh, like, call a pastor call an elder who has the gift of healing or don't call a pastor who doesn't have the gift of healing but just says call a pastor call an elder and and let him pray over it
the the reason why Apostle James asked us to call the elders of the leaders is the elders of the leaders are the spiritual leaders he's asking us to to call the the spiritual leaders of the church the spiritual leaders who are taking who are in charge of the, the spirituality of the church because the spiritual leaders when they when they see somebody sick they want to know the reason why they are sick it could be many things it could be to to glorify God it could be the result of sin it could be the reason that God wants to discipline him in in life there are various reasons Apostle Paul God gave him some sickness to so that he would not be proud. Job, even though he was a righteous person, God still gave him sickness. David, as a result of his sin, God gave him sickness. But the problem is, oftentimes we don't know why the sickness came to us. When you're sick, do you think you, you, you know the, exactly the reason why you're sick? We oftentimes don't know. But in the church, when um, in the church when they see some people sick, they try to accuse them. Even when they are sick, they try to put more burden on top of that. That oh, it's because of your you you sinned. It's because you don't you don't come to church on Sunday, and then that's what happened in the in the book of Job. And when Job was sick, his friends came visited him, and then accused him like it you are sick because you, you because of your sin and job said all of you are saying it's all wrong when when a church member is sick the the spiritual leaders don't need to go there and then tell them the reason why they are sick but there is a reason why the Bible tells us to call the elders of the church because God wants, uh, wants the spiritual leaders to visit them, to encourage them, to confirm the, the relationship they have with God. God will never leave us God is still with you we should encourage them the sick people they also have this thought that what have I done wrong and that during that time the the, the church leaders have to go and encourage them so pastors when they visit the sick people visit encourage them and then make him lift him up make him stand stand back again I have one weakness I think I have mentioned this in 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 the sermon before I can't eat anything before I preach when there's preaching in the morning I, I had to fast from the from the, the previous night so it became because if if I'm I'm preaching right before I preach I I, I kind of like feel sick and feel like throwing up puke and so I've been praying to God I've been praying to God that oh God like put me in a position where I wouldn't preach so God actually put me 
as the secretary of the senior pastor and therefore for a couple of years I haven't had a chance to preach and also when the church sent me to America I was put as the um, administrative pastor the who who in charge of the administration of the um, the full gospel union in the in, in US so I, I was administrative pastor so like I haven't hadn't had many opportunities to preach it was good but I hadn't preached for a while but I wanted to preach but because of my sickness that I like whenever I, I preach I feel like throwing up so this was my weakness so I've been praying to God please heal me God but God didn't heal me instead God told me I will become your strength prayer prayer, prayer is not something that fills our needs it, it, it's, it's not what makes us strong but it's what makes us to rely on God today's passage means to cling to God more through pastors when we are sick and in hardship because in sickness we become fragile and prone to fear there's another reason why pastors must pray for the sick and that is because of the relationship with the congregation elders must pray for the church Jesus wanted his, his disciples to keep faith in the world and to be of good influence the purpose of the church is to is to, to fellowship is the communion of saints it's the unity of the the the, the members but Jesus and but so many people think uh, church needs to change the world but to change the world you need to have power but Jesus never asked his disciples to change the, the world but instead Jesus wants them to go out to the world and then keep it their faith and then like have good influence over others and it's it's like when the disciples wanted Jesus to be the king of many nations so that they could gain independence of Romans the when the polit politics and then Christianity like Christianity have political power that never stands church it, the purpose of the church is to encourage one another and then and achieve that unity in the world like loving one another so the purpose of the church is is the fellowship and the unity of the members is to unite together it, it, is to be one The reason why we pray for those who are in the final stages of disease terminal stage of disease is, is not to give them hope that they can they can live you can live no but but rather be with the patients when they are feeling lost and sad and then is to be with them at their last moment to make the Holy Spirit felt within them in such a hard time like that the Bible today says should should put oil anoint them with oil these days people believe there is this holy water holy oil do you think there's such thing like holy oils holy 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 water so that you can sprinkle or like apply on someone they, they their whatever their sickness will be healed or something there's one time Jesus healed the blind you know how he healed him he spat on the ground and then with the mud and then he he put that on his 
eyes and he asked him to wash it in the pool of Shiloh. Jesus could have just healed him with, with his words, be healed. But why did, did Jesus have to make the mud and then like put it on his eyes and then uh, wash it in, at the pool of Shiloh? Why did, why, why did Jesus make him do it? At Jesus' time, and and at that time, it was very dry where, where Jesus lived. And then, in order for him to make the mud out of the the dust, he should have spat a lot on the ground. And would that be a good sight? Like, of course, like. Jesus, do you think Jesus' saliva didn't smell? But he did all of that and make the mud and the dirty thing and he applied on the blind's eyes. Why did Jesus do that? But this person he was born blind and then his house and the temple he went back and forth even without his eyes but the pool of shiloh he had never been there but he intentionally asked him to go go to the pool of shiloh because he wanted to see his faith so it's not the mud that had power it's not the the pool of shiloh that had power but it is the the power of jesus it's the power of Jesus that healed the blind. But some people believe that there is this like holy water that has power. I, I made research in this Bamin Central Church and then Pastor E.J. Rok. And he brought some water from Chola Province, Buan. And then he called it blonde water and he, he, he sells this water because when you visit his website there's this testimony he used this water to wash his sick part and then his sickness was all gone and oh there's one one on a testimony the the and then one um the gas stove and it was broken and then he somebody spread that water the holy water on it and then the the it was fixed or like there's one lady that um had no eye double eyelid single eyelid and but like spread on her eyes and then like all of a sudden had like s double eyelid but is it all true it's not true it's all false You know the, the Good Samaritan story. There's this Samaritan on his way met with the, the robbers and then he was beaten. But this uh, one person was beaten but this, this Good Samaritan took him to the inn and then it says apply the oil on the person on his wounds. But the wounds is usually we apply that to the to the body. But it, it, it may the oil may um cure the the wounds on the body, but it doesn't cure the sicknesses inside inside our heart. So this oil in the scripture, like it, it, it's up anointing with oil. Anointing him with oil means with the Holy Spirit pray with the with the guidance of the Holy Spirit when we rely on the Holy Spirit we when we pray for them they will be healed they will be encouraged they will stand up back again so the scripture means we should encourage them we should pray for them with the power of the Holy Spirit with with the fullness of the Holy Spirit and that's what church means What, what does the Lord want His people to be in this world? He, 
it, it's not to prosper, but it's, it's to be together, it's to be united. What people fear the most is loneliness. Especially when you're sick and you feel like you are alone, it's unbearable. But the church, when they are with the church, when someone visits them and they pray for them and encourage them, that's a great encouragement for him. That's a great empowerment for the, for, for the person. So being together, the u unity is what God wants of us. You probably have, have, have had that experience. When you are in a great difficulty, when you are sick, do you think you are able to pray? Or like, you probably might have, have, have that an experience. We are not able to pray. It's hard to pray. And, it, as, and when I was in America, you know, parachute? In America, there's this full gospel uh, mission corporation. And then the that union was try to divide, and the senior pastor and then the emeritus pastor gave me a mission, go and and try to unite, unite. So the senior pastor. The senior pastor actually gave me some of the authorities over the finance and a couple of other things. But I thought like this, um, this document that authorizes, authorized by the, the senior pastor, I thought like this would be a good thing. But when I brought it to them and some people hate, started hating me because... And also at that time, like so, so many people hated me, and my wife all of a sudden became so sick that the there a lot of like money that that need to be spent, almost like forty thousand dollars, and the ministry in America was so difficult. And then the doctor was, it was so expensive, so I couldn't afford it. And the doctor told me, and I, I told the doctor, oh, I'll, I'll, we will go to Korea and then And the doctor said, like, this is very critical, so have to have the oper operation right now. So, like, I had to go through it, and it's, it's very expensive. But later found out that she wasn't as terminal sickness as the doctor first diagnosed I felt like I was going to hit the doctor and I had to I didn't have that money to afford the the hospital fee and then the people were hating me and all that I was, it was so difficult it was so difficult in the morning when I came to the sanctuary when I, when I was praying I I just couldn't pray I couldn't pray, and then the only thing I, I could pray is like, Lord, just have mercy on me, have mercy on me. If someone held my hand at that time, it would have been a lot better. But there was no one to hold my hand. Like, it was so difficult for me, so unbearable. But think about it, when you are facing that kind of hardship, and somebody holds your hands at that time. It could be it could be your father, it could be your husband, it could be your wife, it could be your church member. 
if someone can hold their hands, it's gonna be very encouraging and empowering for them. And that's what church ought to do. And verse 16 says, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so they so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. When somebody is going through hardship, they think they have done something wrong. So confessing your sins to one another means forgive one another understand one another unlike the the job's friend like you are sick because of you sin against God no no don't accuse them don't give them the re don't try to find the reason why they were sick but encourage them just just accept him as he is so that you can achieve unity as church that's what God wants of us but in the church these days, when somebody succeeds, they become, everybody's jealous of the person. And when they fail, they, they despise him in the church. What the Apostle James is saying in the, in the scripture is, the church needs to be different. When somebody is sick or going through hardship, don't accuse him, but go to him and hold his hand and then, and just encourage him with the guidance of the Holy Spirit that God is still with him. I pray that our church, our young adult ministry should be, should be the church that is together like this, that unites, that encourages one another. I'd like to end the sermon with an exam with, with an illustration. And the the Olympic Lagostino, it's physically challenged people running. One person fell. Agostino couldn't run. Hendrin went to her. No, let us finish this. Out of the 30 people that participated, they, they were the 29th and the 30th. They, they went together. It was such a great sportsmanship, so I always decided to qualify them to the finals but that's what God wants of us God wants us to be together God wants us to be united when we are united when we are together God is applauding for us and God's cheering us God's empowering us for that God will really unite our church, our young adult, especially young adult ministry, to be united, to have good influence to the world. I pray that we will be used this way. Let's pray. May you keep closing your eyes and listen carefully to what I'm about to say. As you're living your life, aren't you going through great hardships? Don't you feel like you are alone, all by yourself? We want to be with you. We want to be with you as a church, but not, o not only us. But we want you to know that Emmanuel God is with you. Together, we can overcome any hardships.
We can be strength to each other. And if you are the one, place your hand on your heart and repeat after me. Father God, I am a sinner. Not knowing where I came from, why I live and where I'm going. I wander around in the world for my sins. Jesus died on the cross and rose again. I accept Jesus as my Savior. I become a child of God. From now and forever, I will live with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We welcome all of you and bless you. It's time for prayer. Direction is more imp important than the, the velocity. But when it comes to direction, when we are following God, we are in the right direction. And the direction of the church is to be together, is to be united.
Church is not a place to survive. So people pray to survive in life. It's not about competition, but prayer is it, it, a corporate prayer. Like when church needs to pray corporally, like. Encouraging one another, praying for one another, so that we can be united. And for that, let's pray uh, together. Let's shout Jesus three times and pray together. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus.
Heavenly Father, you are a good God and you know the hardships that we go through. You know the hardships that we can share with no one, but we lay before you today. Holy Spirit, may you comfort our heart. May you forgive that the church hasn't been functioning as church. May you forgive our greed, greed that we've been thinking of ourselves first not able to take care of others but we want to be the church that is together that is united may you hold every young adult people so that they can be the church that is united may you fill them up with your fullness may you touch their hearts may you comfort their hearts that all their problems can be solved all their insufficiency be filled with you alone may you come like the wind and the water and may you anoint every one of us may you touch one of us every one of us in the name of Jesus if there's any guilty the sense of guilt we cast you out in the name of Jesus cover us with your precious blood May you keep our heart that we can we are we'll be able to keep our heart guard our heart above every, every anything else that we will not compromise with the world but we will hold on to your words all the time that we'll be able, able to experience a spiritual physical and environmental blessings that will be the channel of blessing to the world that, that the world will see that you are a living God may you we lay down all our sicknesses may you heal all our sicknesses in the name of Jesus all the sickness and illness we cast you out in the name of Jesus from the head to toe be cleansed all the cells will be made healthy holding on to the power of the prayer we pray and help us to encourage one another. I pray for one another. And we know you listen to that prayer and then answer our prayers. May your name be glorified, Lord. Whether we succeed or fail or live or die, it's all done according to your will. We believe. We thank you, Lord. We believe all these in Je We pray all these in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's give our hands to God. And let's give our offerings to God.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to come to your sanctuary and worship you. Due to COVID-19, we still look upon you because you are the author of our lives. And we believe this is the time that we seek your will in our lives, your directions, and help us never to cease to pray. We have prepared a portion of our heart. May you bless upon every hands that they will be able to give cheerfully to you, and may you use it for the expansion of your kingdom. We pray all these in Jesus' name. Amen.
매일 저녁 아홉. 안녕하세요 여의도 순복음교회 성도 여러분 반갑습니다 김호중입니다 아, 오늘 제가 이렇게 특별 특성으로 여러분들에게 이렇게 인사드리게 됐는데요 지금 저희가 많은 힘든 시간 속에 사실 속해 있잖아요 그렇지만 여러분들의 정말 그 기도의 힘으로 이 시기가 조금 더 빨리 지나갈 수 있지 않을까 라는 생각도 들고 어, 늘 저도 이렇게 여러분들을 뵈면서 정말 하나 된 모습을 늘 보여주셔서 저 역시도 이렇게 굉장히 좀 뿌듯해하고 좀 아, 기도의 힘이 정말 어마어마하구나 라는 생각을 늘 하곤 했었습니다 여러분 지금 조금 힘들지만 우리가 서로 좀 힘을 내서 함께 이 시기를 잘 정말 지혜롭게 그리고 또 은혜롭게 또 하나님의 힘으로 여러분들 우리 같이 헤쳐나갔으면 좋겠습니다 여러분들 건강하셨으면 좋겠고요 행복하셨으면 좋겠습니다 저도 여러분들 많이 응원할게요 응원하겠습니다 화이팅! 내일 저녁 9시 코로나19 종식과 이단 신천 재체를 위해 기도해 주시기 바랍니다 코로나19 감염 확산 방지를 위해 성도 등록증을 지참하고 마스크를 착용하여 주시고 예배 후에 안내에 따라 순서대로 퇴장해 주시기 바랍니다 재진 및 봉사자를 위한 특별 새벽 기도의 교제 이영훈 목사님의 신간 예수님의 리더십이 출간되었습니다 성도님들께서는 주차 시 반드시 공휴일 주정차 가는 구간 또는 한강 둔치 주차장이나 국회 둔치 주차장을 이용하시기 바랍니다 결신한 분들을 위한 새가족 환영회가 코로나19로 인해 온라인으로 진행 중입니다 Help me, Father. We have offered our offerings to you cheerfully. May you bless upon it so that wherever this offering is used, may it be used for saving lives, to expand your kingdom. And may you continue to bless upon every hands that gave so that there will be the blessing, channel of blessing to the world that they will be able to share with many others. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be upon the church that is together and that is united, will be upon them and with their family. abundantly and now and forevermore amen
손가락은 주님 안에서 표현하셨습니까? 7월 둘째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 4일 이영호 목사를 강사로 지구역장 세미나를 갖고 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 믿음으로 영적 재충전을 새롭게 했는데요. 첫 소식 심지혜 리포터가 전해드립니다. 영적 부흥의 주인공이 되자를 주제로 열린 이번 세미나는 코로나19 사태로 전면 중단된 소그룹 모임의 리더들이 감염증 종식 이후를 준비할 수 있도록 마련된 시간입니다. 1, 2부로 나뉘어 열린 이날 행사는 세미나와 헌신 예배로 진행됐습니다. 이영훈 목사는 지구역장들의 영적 재무장을 주문했고 동시에 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 충성을 당부했습니다. 지구역장님들은 절대 긍정으로 무장해서 교회에 대해서는 절대 긍정, 절대 감사로 충성해야 될 것입니다. 단한 번도 하나님은 믿음이 없는 사람, 부정적인 사람, 원망 불평한 사람과 함께 일하신 적이 없고 믿음의 사람들하고 일하셨기 때문에 절대 긍정의 믿음은 주님 일꾼의 근본적인 자세입니다. 또 대교구와 지성전을 호명하며 참석자들을 격려했습니다. 참석자들은 각자가 이끌고 있는 지구역원을 위해 기도했고 스스로의 영적 회복을 위해 마음 모아 기도했습니다. 이날 세미나에선 설문조사를 통해 우리 교회 지구역장의 연령과 성별, 예배 참석률, 봉사 연수 등을 확인했고 또 교구장과 교회에 대한 건의사항 등도 받았습니다. 이어진 이분은 지구역장 헌신 예배로 드렸습니다. 연이어 강단에선 이영훈 목사는 성령 충만과 말씀 충만의 삶을 강조하며 성숙한 그리스도인의 열매인 긍정과 감사의 언어 생활을 당부했습니다. 우리가 입을 열어서 남을 판단하고 남을 비방하면 하나님 앞에 죄를 짓는 것입니다. 지금까지 우리가 잘 모르고 습관적으로 그런 삶을 살았던 부분이 있지만 은 이제 이 시간 은 이후로는 완전히 우리가 입에 재간을 물려서 독서로운 말만 하고 남을 살리고 칭찬하고 치료하고 용서하고 회복시키는 말만 하고 하나님 옆에 영광 드리고 덕을 끼치는 여러분들에게를 주님의 이름으로 축원합니다 말씀에 이어 참석자들은 간절히 기도하며 맡은 바 사명에 온전히 헌신하는 지구역장들이 될 것을 다짐했습니다. 믿음 안에서 표대를 향한 경주에 돌입한 우리 교회 모든 지구역의 부흥을 응원합니다. FSTV 뉴스 심지입니다 이영호 목사는 이일 국민일보가 마련한 특별 대담에 함께했습니다. 대담은 주한 장로교회 주승종 목사의 사회로 진행됐습니다. 계속해서 심지혜 리포터입니다. 국민일보가 마련한 이날 대담은 코로나 시대를 지나는 한국 교회 어떻게 세울 것인가를 주제로 진행됐습니다. 코로나 바이러스는 전 세계의 이동을 제한시키고 예배 또한 비대면 온라인 예배로 바꿔놓는 등 한국 교회의 큰 숙제를 안겼습니다. 주승중 목사는 지난 5개월간 지속한 온라인 예배가 가져온 예배자의 수동적 태도와 매너리즘에 대한 경계로 대담을 시작했습니다. 이에 대해 이영훈 목사는 교회가 교회다움의 본질을 회복한다면 위기는 기회가 될수 있다고 말했습니다. 온라인 오프라인으로 가고 있는데 이럴 때 이제 첫째로 중요한 것은 우리가 어떻게 성도들이 예배에 대한 자세를 가져야 될 것인가. 어디서 예배를 드려도 하나 앞에 진실되게 예배를 드려야 되는 그러한 그 예배의 본질적인 문제를 다시 한번 깨우쳐야 되는 필요성이 있는데 그것이 어떻게 교회마다